Markanya na ang inyong mga kalendaryo ngayong November 22 to 28, 2021. Magkita-kita sa 2021 NSTW. Handog ng DUST. 2021 NSTW. And Science for the People. digital library in the Philippines, bringing science, technology, and innovation resources to learners all over the country. Many of the materials here in this library are inside this Starbucks pod. Books, journals, reports, even rare Filipiniano in science and technology, it's all here. What we did is essentially we tried to digitize all our library materials that are fit for sharing. The natural progression was, why not make this library content available to those who would want it? We hit upon the idea, you know, why not put them in a hard drive? We didn't want our pods to buffer, especially since the internet might not be available on site. With this one, everything is preloaded. So we have text files, images, even video learning series in the machine. It is what you call a self-contained library and audiovisual resource for science and technology. We are absolutely inspired by how communities welcomed Starbucks. We felt the need to scale things up but we couldn't possibly keep up with the demand for Starbucks by ourselves. Private agencies, NGOs, and our government partners readily gave their resources and commitment in literally bringing science to the people. So, nakita po namin doon na walang wala, only three teachers, and then 
wala din masyadong resource materials. Prone to hazard yung mga lugar na yon So, kapag na-devastate sila ng isang type na malakas, so nababawasan talaga yung mga references nila kasi nasisira yung school or yung library. Sa Albarca, Basilan, kilalang kota siya ng Abu Sayyaf. Doon ko na-experience yung nagdi-deploy ka na natatakot ka rin. We donated our e-learning content to public schools. One is through Starbucks. We had a common ground because we have the content, they have the platform. We have to bring the pod, the bangka. <laughs> yung unang design pa ng pod was cement, yung base. Sobrang bigat nung pod. Pagdating doon, yung in-invite doon sa school was not only faculty, hindi lang students, but also yung mga parents. Nakikita mo yung tuwa nila. Actually, yung head teacher sila is very emotional eh. Halos maiyak talaga yung mga principal, mga teachers. Mas malaking bagay pa rin talaga na kahit walang internet, meron silang isang uh, makupuntahan na alam nilang puro science-related yung masasearch nila. Uh, hindi na sila nahihirapan sa paghahanap ng reference nila sa ano nandyan na kay Starbuck. So with this readily available at their fingertips, mga ready-to-use e-lessons, e-quizzes, even videos from DOST Starbucks, ang laking bagay na nun to really make uh, engaging materials para lalong ganahan ang mga bata mag-aral. Accessible for all ages nga eh. Even parents, kaya nakakatuwa. Dahil sa Starbucks, umangat yung kalidad ng kanilang pagtuturo. What we can attribute to Starbucks, ang um, kala person ang um, top one in terms of the number of examinees uh, who will take up UST SEI scholarship examination. Yung mga ag-tag group hanggang elementary level lang, hindi sila nakakapag-attend ng high school nila. After two years, nagkaroon ng student nila na pumasok hanggang high school, hanggang senior level. Nag-focus siya sa science uh, curriculum. So yun din yung magandang pagkakatawan. Dahil sa pagkaalaman sa siyensya, siguro maiwasan yung uh, kaguluhan education sa pathway to peace and development. Starbucks has been cited as an innovative international library project by the American Library Association and has received several awards and recognition here and abroad. But what makes me proudest of Starbucks is when a student told us that she had won her school's quiz B with the help of Starbucks. That kind of impact on the Filipino learner is what we and our partners work very hard for every day. Starbooks is a self-contained module and many of our learners access Starbooks through the pods in their schools. Last year in February, the DOST STII signed a partnership agreement with the Department of Education to have more Starbucks pods in schools. And then, the pandemic happened. 85% of our pods are in schools. E walang pasok. The others are in public or private spaces, but these were all inaccessible because the entire country was in lockdown. When COVID struck, we were ready. <laughs> We already had an online Starbucks portal set up before the pandemic. Our web portal and our mobile app are ready for the new normal. For our 10th anniversary, we are excited to launch a new Starbucks mobile app. We gamified the learning experience. It's fun, educational, 
and of course it's free. Wherever the Filipino learner is, at school or from home, we want Starbucks there. That is our commitment. We wanted to stimulate interest in science and technology, foster innovation, and inspire invention among all Filipinos. Today, there are 5,127 Starbucks pods in all regions in the Philippines. With the intensified presence of Starbucks on the internet, the continuing commitment of our partners, and the dedicated service of the people of DOSTSTII, we are more than ready to take on the next 10 years. Ten years ago, we built a digital library and brought it to the Filipino learner. Ten years on, we at the DOSTSTII will continue to build and move forward, carrying on our mission to bring science to the people.
Ayan, magandang, 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 magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat. At batiin din natin ang ating mga sarili ng maganda pa ako sa hapon. Ayan, sa mga kalalakihan, sabi nyo, gwapo pa ako sa hapon. Ayan, naniniwala po ako na kasama sa health and well-being natin ang pagbibigay ng halaga. sa ating sarili. So, once in a while, let's appreciate ourselves. Agree ba kayo na maganda o gwapo pa kayo sa hapon? Ayan, shout out din sa ating mga Facebook viewers. Maraming maraming salamat po ulit sa inyong pagdalo. Ayan, good afternoon. Check ko lang sa chat. Ayan, Maganda po tayong lahat. Okay, so maganda po tayong lahat. Ayan, so ako pong muli ang inyong lingkod, Irene Alice Brillo, ang inyong moderator. Ayan, at sana po nakapagtanghalian na po tayong lahat. <laughs> nakapagtanghalian na po ba? Ayan, kung hindi pa, okay lang yan. Diet-diet din pag may time. Malapit na din ang Pasko, bumawi na lang. At akin na pala sa susunod na linggo. Malamang, kasabay na din doon ang inaasam-asam na 13-month pay. So, next week, pwede na tayong bumawi sa pagkain. <laughs> Ayan, agree po ba kayo doon? Ayan, kung agree kayo, pa-thumbs up naman po. Uh, gwapo kami, mambakon kami, un maganda. Okay. Oh, my. Gwapo kayo ba? Okay. Ayan, agree sila. Thumbs up sila. Ayan, so sana napangiti ko po kayo at nagising ang mga inaantok ang diwa. Ayan, so... Maraming nag-thumbs up. Ibig sabihin, handa na ang karamihan. So, balikan natin saglit ang naganap kaninang umaga. Ayan, kaninang umaga po. Nagkaroon tayo ng tatlong paksa. So, una po is the topic on DOST, STII services, resources, and products. And this was followed by DOST Starbucks. And finally, the discussion on DOST Info Servilis. At kami nagpapasalamat sapagkat naging aktibo po kayo sa inyong pakikilahok. Ayan. At ngayon po, sa mga hindi pa po nakapag-attendance, ayan, narito po ang attendance link. Ayan, naka-flash po sa screen at sa mga nasa Zoom, uh, makikita nyo din po iyan sa chat box. At sa ating mga Facebook viewers, ayan, makikita nyo din po sa comment box yung ating attendance. Ayan, sana all. Maganda, Char. <laughs> okay. Ayan, at habang... Uh, Nagsasagot po yung iba. Ayan, chikahan po ulit muna tayo. Okay. So, sa mga nakatapos na pong ano, uh, magsagot sa ating attendance form, maaari nyo po ba akong bigyan or maaari po ba kayong mag-type ng isang word to describe how you feel about the three-day webinar? Ayan, just one word po to describe how you feel about this three-day webinar. Ayan, nagbabasa ako very fast. So kung ano lang yung uh, makita ko, ayan, informative, great, thankful, engaging, amazing, burning, informative, enlightened, power up, awesome, comprehensive, wow, timely. Interesting, productive, relevant, blessed, fabulous, wow, educational, new ideas, fruitful, STII 
opener. Ay, I like that. Eye opener. Ayan. Abreast. Productive. Trendy. Oh, okay. Uh, thank you. I am beautiful. <laughs> Ayan, pinag-isipan daw. Infodemic. Marami po ba kayong ano, narinig? And spectacular. Awesome moderator. Thank you. Ayan, influential. Excellent. Empowering. Enrich. Wow. Insightful. Ayan, mas lalo naman po kaming ano, uh, na-inspire na magkaroon po ulit ng uh, ganito. At sa susunod, Kung sino po ang interesado sa inyo na makipag-partner po sa amin, baka po uh, isa sa inyo ang makasama ko na bilang host <laughs> or moderator sa aktibidad na ganito. Ayan. Okay. So, thank you so much for sharing those words. Ngayon naman po. Ayan. To start our session this afternoon, kindly observe this house rules. First, okay, uh, siguro na-memorize nyo na ito, no, yung mga <laughs> attendees natin since day one. So this webinar will be recorded or is being recorded for documentation purposes and the recordings link will be sent to your email addresses along with the e-certificate. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel at DOST STII Library to watch the recordings of our past webinars. Next po. In asking your questions, you can use the Q&A chat box for our Zoom participants or use the comment box for our FB Live participants. And you can post your questions while the presentation is ongoing. Next. Uh, DOST STII Library will provide an e-certificate of participation to all participants who successfully submitted their accomplished attendance form and evaluation form from the 8th to the 10th of November 2021. The e-certificate of participation will be sent to the email address that you have provided in the evaluation form on or before the 30th of November, 2021. Finally, ayan, remember to be polite, pay attention, and actively participate. At this point, ayan, this will be the topic for this afternoon. First will be the topic on nuclear information for all research support at DOST PNRI. And the second topic will be DOSTV science for the people. And in between those presentations, we will be having the open forum. And stay tuned because we will be having the closing ceremonies from 3.30 to 5 in the afternoon. And we will be announcing the winners of our different library contests still in celebration of the LIS month. And we will be announcing also the different activities for the celebration of the National Science and Technology Week 2021. At syempre, mag doon na din po ipapakita uh, after the closing remarks, yung ating evaluation link for the third day. So, wag nyo po kaming iiwanan. Ayan. Moving on, may I now call on Ms. Linderlit M. Maglake to introduce our resource speaker. Thank you, Irene. And again, thank you everyone for staying with us this afternoon. Nakakataba po ng puso yung mga nakita namin comments nyo. At dahil po dyan, next year kita-kita po ulit tayo sa November ng gantong event. So, let's now go with topic number 11. Ayan. So, it is my pleasure to introduce our speaker for this afternoon. Our first speaker is A. Bryan at the DOST Philippine Nuclear Research Institute or DOST PNRI and concurrently serves as the PNRI Libraries Coordinator to the International Nuclear Library Network 
and one of the liaison officers to the International Nuclear Information System, both of which being part of the Philippines' commitment to the International Atomic Energy Agency in the area of nuclear information and knowledge management. She is also supports the Institute Science Communication and Stakeholder Engagement Activities, which aim to demonstrate various applications of nuclear science and technology to daily life and society. So to discuss about the services of DOSC PNRI, let us all will welcome Ms. Michelle Arispe. Hello, Michelle. Hello, Ma'am Linder. Good afternoon. Are you ba? Yes, po. Okay. Loud and clear. Thank you, ma'am. I'll try lang po to share my screen. Nakikita po ba? Yes, ma'am. Okay, thank you po. So, Hello everyone, good afternoon. I am from the library of the DOST, Philippine Nuclear Research Institute or PNRI, and I'm happy to be here and get to introduce to fellow librarians and information professionals the research support services of the PNRI library. So before I start, I'd like to do something that we also do during PNRI lectures or webinars, because I'm curious also, uh, what do you all think of when you hear the word nuclear? So please be honest po, no? Tayo-tayo lang naman dito. Uh, top of mind, what's the first word or phrase na naiisip po natin pag sinabing nuclear? So please go to menti.com and type in the code 51071901. The code po on your screens. And then there you should be able to answer, uh, to enter your answers. So let's have maybe one minute to do that. And then we'll show you a word cloud of all your answers. We talaga, because I'm also joined uh, by Miss Risa, one of our librarians at PNRI also. Thank you, Ma'am Reese. So we'll share with you the word cloud later. So give one minute. Be honest, okay lang po yan. Ginagawa rin po namin to sa iba naming uh, stakeholders. So I'm just interested kung among librarians, ano kaya yung, ano ba yung opinion or impression of nuclear among us?
Ayan, thank you, Ma'am Riz. Ah, oh, okay. So, yung malalaking words so far, ibig sabihin maraming nag-respond ng same words or phrases. May bomb, dangerous, energy, weapon, power, explosive. Um, sige, mag-type pa po tayo. Sige, maybe 30 seconds more. Weapon. Hindi ko na mabasa. Bilis ng galaw. Explosion, destruction. Um, hazardous. Destructive power. Explosive. Electricity. Uh -huh. Chernobyl. Ano yung isa? Ah, okay, explosion. Okay, so more or less medyo synonymous, no? Uh, weapon, bomb, destructive, explosion, Chernobyl. Medyo parang pwede nating i-cluster into one. May electricity, power. Okay. Ayan. So more or less, yun yung pinaka marami yun yung pinaka malalaking words so thank you everyone for doing this we'll take note of this babalikan natin siya so minutes sagot pa okay thank you so before i talk about the PNRI library let me introduce to you first PNRI what kind of government agency we are and what we do so we can have some context about the PNRI library as well. Sa PNRI library ba may mga explosive den, hazardous? Okay. So, so first let me introduce to you PNRI. No? The Philippine Nuclear Research Institute is one of the research and development institutes under the DOST. Parang yung pinakita kanina sa presentation ni Ma'am Linder. PNRI is the lead agency in peaceful applications of nuclear or atomic energy in the Philippines. Also, maliban doon, um, na, maliban sa research institute kami, although it doesn't say so in its name, but PNRI is also a regulatory agency when it comes to the use of nuclear facilities and radioactive materials in the Philippines. In the international community naman, PNRI is also the National Atomic Energy Authority ng Pilipinas and the official representative to the United Nations International Atomic Energy Agency or IAEA. So that's PNRI as a government unit. Pero para lang mas malinaw what PNRI does exactly, which will also provide context for our library services, I'll tell you a bit also about our research activities and services as an institute. So, I think this is very important to mention because not a lot of people know much about the NRI or that such a government agency exists. I remember nung bago ko sa PNRI, tapos sinabi ko sa friend ko kung saan ako nag-work, sabi niya, uh, wala naman tayong nuclear power sa Pilipinas, so anong ginagawa niyo dyan? Or minsan kapag kami uh, drivers, kunwari, ng taxi or TNBS, parang gumagawa ba kayo mam ng atomic bomb dito sa PNRI? So this is important. Um, at PNRI, our research activities and services cover many applications of nuclear science and technology. Bigyan ko lang kayo ng konting examples at practical applications. So, first, sa agriculture, uh, gamit ang radiation, we have formulated a solution na nagagamit na ngayon ng farmers, lalo na yung mga nagtatanim ng palay. Importante yon kasi staple food ng mga Pinoy ang kanin, di ba? So, with such technology, mas pest and weather resilient ang mga palay, mas maraming ani. Sa medicine naman, may tinatawag tayong nuclear medicine. Sa PNRI, nakakagawa tayo ng radioactive isotopes or radioisotopes or radiopharmaceuticals, no? iba-iba lang yung term. Pero ito yung mga ginagamit sa mga ospital sa pagdiagnose at pag ng cancer. Mas 
uh, may mga radiation technologies also na mas familiar kayo siguro yung mga x-ray ginagawa natin pag annual physical exam yung mga CT scans uh, mammography that's also a uh, radiation technology in industrial applications naman may mga uh, sa manufacturing kunwari yung mga paggawa ng rubber uh, gulong o mga kable ginagamitan din ng radiation para mas durable or maging mas matibay Sa environment studies naman, may mga services at research projects dito sa PNRI. May mga certain isotopes na pwedeng gamitin uh, para matrace ang origin o source ng tubig. This helps us ensure that we always have sources of water na malinis, pwede gamitin at pwede inumin. At sa lahat ng applications na to, we need to secure that all activities dito sa PNRI at sa iba ring, um, industrial applications, sa hospitals, sa factories, etc. Um, uh, but also yung mga radiation workers sa buong Pilipinas, uh, that we are limited to safe and peaceful uses of nuclear energy. So, uh, as you can tell by this point, the field of nuclear science and technology is very diverse. It's a nice mix of many different sciences. So there's physics in it, there's chemistry, agriculture, engineering, medicine, nga, biotechnology, just to name a few. Um, kaya, uh, meron ding uh, related disciplines also aside from STEM fields like international relations, science communication information management, technology management. Uh, at kukunti lang yun, pero marami pang iba. Kaya ang PNRI library, ang collections, resources, at services are dedicated to the field talaga of nuclear s and that cover all these disciplines and related subject areas na nabanggit ko kanina. So, on-site, our library houses scientific, technical, and historical collections in nuclear s and which are uh, which come in paper-based, audiovisual, and non-print formats. So, the PNRI library's resources and services are open to both the PNRI staff and the public under DOST man, ang institution nyo, o hindi. So majority of the clients we get on-site and remotely are career researchers in different fields of STEM, so mga scientists, engineers, at marami pang teachers and students from high school up to PhD. So para sa inyo pong lahat, the PNRI library po, uh, ay pinaka nakakatulong kung ang libraries niyo po uh, nasa science departments, kunwari ng colleges and universities, or uh, libraries in special high schools, yung mga science high school, agricultural high school, yung mga ganun, or research libraries din, katulad, ng, um, katulad namin in any, in any STEM discipline. We can also help science museums. But if you simply find any research interest in any topic or subject area related to related in any way to nuclear we would be happy to help you also so now in the so-called new normal since my limitations talaga on on-site library collections and the uh, uh, ang circumstances natin ngayon dahil sa pandemic mm -hmm. our networks have really come in handy so, ang PNRI din, ang National INIS Center through the PNRI Library. Itong INIS or International Nuclear Information System is under the IAEA. So, the repository of INIS is a collection of uh, different sorts of literature in nuclear from around the world. So, if you go to the INIS repository website, depende sa hinahanap nyo, you will find full texts and bibliographic records. Uh, they also build a list of uh, all journals per country or member state that have been deposited to the INIS repository. So the PNRI library's job is the submission of PNRI publications to INIS. 
mga journal articles, technical reports, conference presentations, etc. ng mga researchers ng PNRI. So the the INIS repository gives us another platform where our own Filipino researchers in nuclear science can put themselves out there, basically, which helps in in research discoverability. Hindi lang para kay researcher, but in research and development in general, sa nuclear, sa Pilipinas, at sa iba-ibang bansa. So another network that the PNRI library is part of is the International Nuclear Library Network, or INLN. This is also under the IAEA. It's a consortium of nuclear libraries located in the member states or countries of IAEA. So, bakit ko ito lahat? Uh, so, sa INIS repository website, records that are available in full text may be downloaded anytime. But INIS centers around the world are still bound by intellectual property laws, copyright, etc. So, not... Uh, not all records in this repository are available in full text. So this is where the IAEA library comes in. So sila, sa IAEA library supports our researchers dito sa Pilipinas through the PNRI library. Actually, kahit wala kayo dito sa Pilipinas, kunwari may researchers or faculty nyo na nasa ibang bansa for PhD, kunwari, pwede rin yun. So, Kunwari, on INIS, may record na hindi available in full text. Uh, you can just fill out our online form. Mamaya, I'll show you the link to that. And then we'll coordinate with the IAEA library. So sometimes they, they, have, the, they have the actual document in their library on site. But at times when they don't, the IAEA library sends an SOS kumbaga, to, the, to the INLN, especially if the material is published by an institution based elsewhere. Ang IAEA pala is based in Vienna, Austria. So kunwari, uh, nasa Netherlands ang publishing institution, the IAEA library then reaches out to the INLN member in that country uh, in Netherlands. So that's how the networking works. Even before the pandemic, meron na rin naman ito, but this has been uh, more, even more helpful during the pandemic. And we want you and your institutions to know this because this is basically for everyone around the world. So while we can't have clients on site yet, we are using this time to improve our library services. So we're working on our ILS, which includes an OPAC that we are also uh, that we also hope to share with you soon, uh, dito sa Pilipinas and to INLN as well, so that um, other libraries, other nuclear libraries abroad, can benefit from our services as well. So to do that, we are reassessing our collections, and we've also started digitizing a few collections as part of our function to preserve uh, local nuclear information. Also, we are, we are looking forward to, to more activities with SciNet, the Science and Technology Information uh, Network, which is the consortium of all DOST libraries led by the STII library. Bale, they're planning to ramp up their activities, I think, in the near future, so that's something we are also excited about. So here's our online form for remote services. If you find anything on the INIS repository or kung saan man, probably publications or presentations of PNRI researchers and scientists, nakita nyo ang affiliation ID to sa PNRI, ng mga authors, uh, and you need a copy of that, please let us know through this form. And this is the website of the INIS repository. And so, pwede nyo i-browse ngayon as I do this presentation. So, depending on your research needs, you might have more details you want to include in your inquiry or request. Aside from the online form, you may also send us an email. 
Huwag kayong mag-alala if you don't get a response right away. Sometimes with the alternative work arrangements also at PNRI, may mga work from home, may mga on-site, we might not get back to you quick, but we will always get back to you uh, nonetheless during our library hours. So the PNRI library is under the Nuclear Information and Documentation section. Here are more contact details should you, should you need them. Okay, and so before I end, from all of us here at PNRI, we invite you sa malapit na malapit ng 49th Atomic Energy Week celebration on December 6 to 10. You or your communities and library users might want to learn more about developments in nuclear science and technology in the Philippines. We have so much all week for everyone to enjoy virtually. So, paki-like na rin yung Facebook page ng DOST PNRI. That's facebook.com slash PNRI DOST. We will post AEW announcements there. Everything will also be on the AEW website. So that's the address on your screens. aew.pnri.dost.gov.ph So there, on behalf of all of us in our team, thank you, SDII, for having us in this program. And to the participants, thank you for listening. And uh, I'll be happy to answer your questions. Ayan, thank you so much, Ms. Michelle, for presenting the services of the DUST PNRI Library. And I believe this is new to our participants. And uh, since we have uh, these different views on nuclear energy, uh, we can uh, gain more insights on how nuclear energy is actually being used now for our advantage. So uh, you can request educational materials being offered by the DOST PN PNRI. And uh, you can send uh, messages to their email address. And right now, we are ready for your questions. And so thank you, Olet, Ma Michelle. And do we have any questions? Okay. Umabot naman I... within the time, Miss Irene. No? <laughs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you so much po. Uh, tingnan lang po natin kung ayan, may nag-question na po. Let's check this out. Ayan. Uh, ma'am Michelle, can you please give us an update about the Bataan nuclear plant? Is it still possible to operate it? Um... Mm, I might not be the best person to answer that question, no? Um, but um, alam naman nating lahat, in 20, 2019 po ba? 2020, sorry, baka, baka hindi ko maalala yung year. Um, we had uh, executive the Executive Order 1601, which created the Nuclear Energy Program Interagency Committee. So that's uh, that in that is chaired by DOE, co-chaired by DOST, and um, meron din iba pang government agency. So their task was basically to to look into the um, feasibility of integrating nuclear power into our energy mix. No, not exactly, not just limited to the Bataan nuclear power plant. Uh, but also nuclear power in general. Kasi ngayon, marami na rin um, nuclear power reactor technologies na available. Um, so yun, so uh, the NEP IAC was able to submit its proposal na tapos lahat ng studies. Um, may policy recommendations na to the Office of the President. And so, if, uh, so basically, decision pa rin po yun ng Office of the President uh, kung ano yung magiging national position on uh, nuclear power in the Philippines. So yun pa lang po yung update doon. But that's Ayan. not limited to nuclear power. Ayan, thank you uh, so sorry, much. Sorry, to bataan nuclear power. Ayun. So thank you so much, Miss Michelle. Uh, Though, um, hindi nga po dapat po sa inyo yung tanong. Maybe for uh, those 
or for this uh, person asking the question, you can directly um, send a message to the Department of Energy. Yan. Ito naman po, hinihingi po ang inyong opinion, Ma'am Michelle. Which is worse, Ma'am? Nuclear attack or biological attack? <laughs> <laughs> Oo nga, no? Parang meron din tayo dapat, ma'am. Next time, mag-invite tayo ng experts from TNRI. Actually, we hold webinars uh, um, at TNRI na may iba-ibang experts din. So, I really can't comment kung ano ba yung nuclear attack na sinasabi <laughs> at ano yung biological attack. Clear ba yun? Ayun, hindi ko alam kung anong ibig sabihin ni participant lang po doon. Pero yun, um, if you're interested siguro on more nuclear technology, sabi ko nga kanina, hindi lang naman nuclear power ang ang technology derived from nuclear energy. or Yun lang po kasi talaga yung kilala. No? Pero marami pang iba. And uh, PNRI has been consistent in letting the public know about these other um, applications of nuclear energy. Ayan. So... Uh, pwede po tayong makilahok sa activity ng DOST PNRI that will be anong araw nga po ulit, Miss Michelle? <laughs> so, yung Atomic Energy Week, Atomic Energy Week celebration ay December 6 to 10. That's mm -hmm. uh, celebrated every on every year on the second week of December. Pero, um... Bago pala yun, bago December, ang um, tulad nung sinasabi din ng STII, meron din tayong National Science and Technology Week, which is a nationwide celebration led by DOST, coming up on November 22 to 28. Pero sisingit kami sa so November 26 po, during the DOST um, NSTW celebration, meron po tayong webinar on the applications of nuclear techniques in health and medicine. We will be having, and I promote ko na rin Ms. Irene, no? we, yes, will be having, we will be having uh, Dr. Thomas Neal B. Pascual. He, is a, he was a Balik scientist. He's now uh, an SMT fellow for PNRI. So he'll be hosting that, uh, he'll be leading that discussion. November 26, 8 a.m., Ayan, so I think uh, during that discussion, doon po natin pwedeng tanungin itong mga tanong natin dito. Since Miss Michelle is mm -hmm. uh, responsible or is working under the library. And for your uh, for our questions po dito na technical, uh, like for example this one, does the Philippines allow foods that are irradiated for the purpose of making them? Siguro po kailangan na po natin itanong ito sa X. Bird. So, pwede po natin itong itanong since related siya sa health and medicine. Ayan, pwede po natin mm -hmm. tanongin sa November. Sige, Miss, I read yung iba. Pwede natin uh, sagutin. Do you offer uh, ano to? PNRI library tour for schools or students who are interested about nuclear technologies? Hindi lang po library tour. In our uh, pre-pandemic, we host guided tours around uh, PNRI. Pero dahil nga pandemic tayo ngayon, we produced um, several episodes of virtual tours or Biaheng Nuclear, all mm -hmm. of which you can see on our Facebook page. That's uh, facebook.com slash PNRIDOST. Okay. Tapos, um, saan na tayo? Ito ba yung is it? Uh, uh, yan, sorry. Uh, how about this one, ma'am? Um, what age or grade level you cater in your December virtual sessions? Uh, open po to all to everyone of all ages. Ayan. Ayan. Mm -hmm. Pero baka mm -hmm. kung, ano, kung medyo mas bata-bata, uh, we will also be hosting during the Atomic Energy Week, the 5th Philippine Nuclear Youth Summit mm -hmm. uh, on December 8th. That's one whole day dedicated to, you know, the young and the young at heart. Mm -hmm. um, marami po tayo dong webinars, career talks, uh, contests also that you can join. Ayan. So, join na din po kayo sapagkat marami din po kayong matututunan doon. At uh, yes, bago po ito sa atin. Ayan. Uh, Miss Michelle, uh, will you be able yes, to answer this one? Uh, which degrees are most concerned with 
nuclear energy research. Degree meaning siguro courses po ito. Hmm, nuclear energy research. Um, karamihan po, marami dito, iba-iba po talaga, no? katulad ng sinabi ko talaga kanina, yung kami po dito in nuclear science and technology, it's a nice mix of disciplines, different professionals. We have physicists, may mga engineers din po dito, may mechanical, energy engineer, environment engineers, chemists, may mga pharmacists din. There are even uh, nursing graduates. So, medyo marami talagang applications kasi ng nuclear. So, most likely if you're in the STEM field, meron at meron talaga for nuclear research. Um, yeah, so walang-wala namang particular degree, specific degree for nuclear energy research. Ayun, so there's no specific degree. Ayan, so nandito po sa ating chat box ang invitation ng DOST PNRI. So we would, we would want to invite everyone to join the DOST Philippine Nuclear Research Institute as we lead the country's celebration of Atomic Energy Week on the 6th to 10th of December 2021. Webinars, virtual exhibits, contests, And more are in store for you as we explore the exciting works of the atom in everyday life and in our society. For more details, please visit the FB page of DOST PNRI at HTTPS, ayan, facebook.com slash PNRI DOST. Ayan. Uh, Miss Michelle, may nagtatanong din po, do you have posters daw po that they can post in their uh, libraries? Yes po, all materials are available on our Facebook page. Um, pero if you want to request for uh, posters, you can maybe print. Please send us an email at information at pnri.dost.gov.ph Ayan. So again, you just send a request to uh, information at pnri.dost.gov.ph. Ayan, uh, back read lang po ako sa chat. Ayan, just asking, uh, does PNRI Library celebrate National Book Week? Ayan, kasama po natin sila in celebration of the National Book Week. Ayan. Opo, sa DOST po. Isang buong DOST community. Yes. Ayan. So, um, I think uh, hindi ko po babasahin yung ibang tanong na pang-experts. <laughs> uh, <laughs> pwede po natin itong itanong sa November 26 ulit. Mm-hmm. At saka, ma'am, yung mga webinars din namin na hinahost sa PNRI, we keep the recordings on our Facebook page. So, if you want to go back to that sa videos lang, makikita nyo doon. We've, we've, uh, we've had several webinars on many different topics on nuclear technologies. Kung medyo curious kayo, balikan nyo yun. Para, yun, yun, basically, para maiba lang yung impression natin of nuclear technologies. And, uh, uh, and we know, we were conscious that it's not limited to nuclear power. Ayan. Thank you so much, Miss Michelle. And then, um, do you have registration links po in the Facebook page? For AEW po ba to? Uh, yes, I think so, ma'am. Mm-hmm. Yun po, per event, iba po yung registration link. So, so far, we have released registration links pa lang po to the contests. Your, your students, your communities might be interested. Those contests are for high school students and college students. Tapos, um, we have several announcements scheduled for this week. So, please watch out for that. Kasi doon nyo po makikita lahat ng registration links to technical sessions if you're very interested. I think mas magbe-benefit po kung meron kayong Uh, like kung academic libraries, kung may mga STEM uh, degree programs po talaga kayo, sila ang magbe-benefit doon uh, for, uh, sa technical sessions. Uh, yung Philippine Nuclear Youth Summit is basically for everyone. You can, just, uh, you can just join in. Tapos ano pa ba? May mga technical exhibits also um, in different... Uh, we have 
clustered them into different applications of nuclear technologies. Merong medicine, merong um, agriculture, etc. I think there are about six clusters. So, we released din namin doon once the platform for the virtual exhibits um, is ready. Ayan. So, ano pang ginagawa nyo? A like and follow na po ang Facebook page ng DOST PNRI para maging updated po tayo sa kanilang mga upcoming activities. Ayan. At sapagkat wala na po akong nakikitang tanong, Ayan, muli maraming maraming salamat po sa inyo, Ms. Michelle Arispe, for sharing the information and the services of the DOST PNRI Library. Thank you, Ms. Irene. Please don't hesitate to reach us sa PNRI Library. You have our details. Thank you very much and good afternoon, everyone. Ayan. Okay, so we're done with our first session. Let us now have the second session and as usual, let's call on Ms. Linderlit M. Maglake to introduce our resource speaker. Ma'am Linder? Yeah, thank you again, Irene. And thank you very much, Ms. Michelle, for an informative uh, discussion on what the USP PNRI offers to the public. Marami rin kasing uh, hindi ganun ka-familiar. So thank you. So let's go to our... Next topic, our next speaker uh, graduated from the New Era University with a Bachelor of Science degree in Civil Engineering. After realizing her passion for mass communication, she pursued a career in broadcasting and was eventually known as one of the respected hosts and news anchors of Net25 and Euro TV Philippines. Currently, she is the main host of the official weather and science program of the Department of Science and Technology, Philippines, or the DOSCB Science for the People. Her commendable talent and communications paved way for her success in the media industry. For her, everything has a story and every story has value. Her dedication leads her to be more engaged with people and be their storyteller. With her substantial background in broadcasting for the past 15 years, she was recognized by different award-giving bodies, including the Gawad Sulo Foundation Awardee 2015, Outstanding Morning Show Host for Pambansang Almusal of NEP 25, PMPC Star Awards for TV 2015 nominee for Best Morning TV Show Host, Gawad Filipino Awardee 2016, Outstanding News Anchor for Mata and Aguila Weekend of NEP 25, Royal Kingdom of Sulu Awardee 2017, Merot, uh, Meritorous Service Award for DOS TV, Gawad Filipino Award 2017, Outstanding Science TV Program Host for DOS TV, 2019 Gawad Filipino Awards para sa mga natatanging Pilipina, and Golden Globe Annual Award for Filipino Achievers 2019 Awardee for her excellence and not noteworthy achievements in the field of journalism. And so to discuss about DOS TV programs, let us all welcome Ms. Jel Miranda. Hello, Ma'am Jel. Hi, Ma'am Linder. Thank you so much sa um, habang introduction. Maraming maraming salamat. And also, Ma'am Irene, thank you so much then. And uh, actually, very excited ako to share DOS TV. Ano nga ba ang DOS TV para dun sa hindi pa talaga doon sa uh, yung yung aming programa di ba oh um, siguro simulan na natin yung ating presentation sa aking side uh, doon na pakilala na ako ni Ma'am Linder kanina once again my name is Jel Miranda I'm a television host and a news anchor pero based nga doon sa aking introduction ay wala po akong background about broadcasting talaga hindi ako nag-post ng mass communication so na lang siguro na Uh, 2004 until 2008 NET 25 next slide po ayan so yaan po ang aking mga ginagawa nag uh, 
hahatid ako ng mga balita at uh, informasyon and meron akong morning show and talk show, entertainment, iba't ibang personalities na yung aking mga nakapanayam. Um, pero bago ako naging television host, nagsimula po ako sa production. So behind the scenes, lahat ng ginagawa ko, I started as production assistant, and then eventually naging video editor, and so siguro bawat step po ng production, na pagdaanan ko na yan, yung tipong ako yung nagbibigay ng pagkain doon sa aming mga talents, kung adobo man yan na nakasupot, ako magdadali niyan para sa kanila. So na-enjoy po kung ano nga yung uh, broadcasting industry na tinatawag nila. Department of Science and Technology program which is the DSTV and mga pagkakataon na yun siguro parang dahil sa mahaba-haba na rin panahon tapos yung ko baka maging weather forecast ako, magbabalita ako ng ulat panahon. And luckily, ay ako po yung pinalad na matanggap bilang main host ng ating In our first airtime online, so we started airing via live streaming on Facebook, on YouTube, ito po yung mga panahon na uh, naging secretary na rin si uh, DOSC Secretary Boy de la Peña. So umupo siya July, uh, July, I think July on 2016. Okay, so next slide po tayo. Science and Technology on TV. Ito yung aim ng ating programa. Bakit nga ba nabuo ang uh, DOSC TV? Next slide po, ma'am. So nagahang ako. Ayan. Clear na po ba yung aking video? Okay na po. Ayan. Choppy means na ngayon. Sorry po, medyo naglolo ko yung aking uh, internet connection. Anyway, so uh, pagpatuloy natin. So yun nga, um, nabuo ang DOS TV. But, but what is DOS TV? Siyempre, ang aim ng aming programa is uh, to um, we aim to bring science closer to the people. So, dito sa ating programa, DOS TV, we make science exciting, di ba? Parang, uh, ano nga ba ang science and technology? Parang pagka, pagka science, marami sa atin na natatakot, di ba? Um, Ayan, sorry po. Okay na po ba yung aking connection? Sorry. Uh, go ahead, ma'am. Ayan, okay. Entry. Okay, yun. Pagpatuloy natin, iba't ibang mga program or segmento yung naipalabas natin sa ating programang DOS TV. Pero... Um, gusto talaga natin ay paano nga ba maipahatid yung kahalagahan ng science and technology sa buhay ng bawat Pilipino. So from 2016, during that time, hindi pa ganun ka laganap ang Facebook Live. Kung maaalala ko, ang DOS TV talaga ang isa sa mga nagsimula ng live streaming through Facebook and YouTube ng live. Ayun, live talaga kami umeere sa Facebook. And um, next slide po tayo ba? Okay, so iba't ibang mga programa or segmento po yung ating na-produce sa DOS TV. Okay, uh, meron tayong mga, ang aim talaga natin sa DOS TV araw-araw, nag-deliver kami ng weather updates and water level reports from DOS OST pag-asa. So yung nagdi-deliver po sa atin ng mga uh, forecast, uh, mismong gali po sa pag-asa, yung ating mga weather forecasters. So yung kalidad talaga, yung professional na tagapagsalita, yung naghahatid sa atin ng mga informasyon. And also we have sinisiyensya. Ito po yung mga true to life stories na uh, ibin natin doon sa ating mga uh, uh, tagapanood. Wait lang po doon sa ating slide. <laughs> Sorry po. And sinasiyensya, ito yung mga true to life stories na nag-benefits naman sa SNT intervention. So uh, marami na po, eh, napakaraming programa na naihatid ng uh, DOS TV or I mean ng DOS 
bestie about panig ng mundo. Bawat iyon, ilang probinsya meron tayo. Lahat ay, ang buhay natin, nagsimula talaga sabi natin, nakabase sa science and technology. So, ang aim ng ating programa, paano nga ba natin maiparating talaga sa tao through broadcast yung science and technology, di ba? Marami tayong mga napapanood, siguro nung bata tayo. At isang programa lang din kung maaalala ko ay syempre siguro mga nandito ang kabataan na nakasama natin, mga siniskwela, di ba? Pero, pero, pero aside from that, wala masyado maaalala talaga about science and technology program. And through DOS TV, mas napalawak pa natin yung ating uh, uh, goal para makita ng mga tao ano nga ba ang science and technology sa buhay ng bawat isa. Okay. Alright. So, Siyansikad. Nakikita po natin ang Siyansikad. Ito ngayon, uh, very honored tayo na lumalabas ang Siyansikad sa CNN Philippines every Saturday po yan. Okay. May noise daw po. Wait lang po ah. Ayan, medyo maingay po. Sorry po. Okay, continue ko po. Ang CNC Kato, may edit po tayo ngayon sa CNN Philippines. Okay? So every Saturday po yung mga kaibigan pinopromote ko na agad. Ito naman yung mga programa ay ang main host po natin dyan, of course, no other than Secretary Boy De La Peña. And ang konsepto naman nito ay para meron tayong wisher na na tao, ano nga ba yung gusto niya mangyari? Halimbawa, uh, gusto niya magkaroon ng isang magandang takbo ng negosyo, let's say, uh, magditinda siya ng tinapay or pastry. So, paano ba makakatulong ang science and technology doon sa kanyang hinihiling? So, from that program, CNC Cut, maipapakita natin kung paano maipagkakaloob yung kanyang kahilingan. So, next slide po tayo. And before CNC Cut pala, DOST Report. Ito yung DOST Report is a weekly uh, program which is hosted also uh, by the USC Secretary Boy De La Peña. Doon naman sa DOST Report ay pinapakita lahat ng accomplishment ng ating ahensya o ng Department of Science and Technology sa buong linggong nagdaan. And next po, sige nang mag-jump na tayo ma'am doon sa ating Bantay Bulkan naman. Bantay Bulkan. Bantay Bulkan is also a one uh, once a week episode. Pinapakita natin, binabalita naman natin dyan kung ano nga ba ang kasalukuyang lagay ng mga bulkan dito po sa ating bansa. So kahit na walang sumabog na bulkan, walang ganoon katinding pangyayari sa kasalukuyan, pero every week po, we make sure na nagde-deliver kami ng updates about uh, volcano uh, all over the country. So lalo na kung merong uh, matinde or mga mapinsalam Uh, pagsabog ng bulkan sa kasalukuyan. And um, aside from Bantay Bulkan, meron po kaming inilalabas na special monthly feature. Next slide po. Katulad nitong last July, since um, sinelebrate natin ang National Disaster Resilience Month, so every month meron kaming special feature na inilalabas. Uh, katulad nitong susunod nating slide, ipakita lang namin sa inyo. Siyempre meron tayong mga movies na pinapanood, di ba? So yung ginawa namin doon sa aming programa ay nagpalabas kami ng mga clips from different movies na nagpapakita ng uh, climate change or tornado, tsunami. And then we have an expert to discuss kung pwede ba siya or possible ba siya mangyari sa totoong buhay. So panoorin po muna natin ito. Play po. Buti na lang at may mga ganitong ulit pa na on, no? Paano ba natin nalalaman kung ano ang mag-ibigay? Yung previous slide. Ang ulat panahon o pagtataya ng lagay ng pan... Ayaw sa ating next clip.
yan ay from the movie San Andreas ulit. Okay, uh, ayun, nakakatakot yung taas ng mga waves dun sa, dun sa movie. And yun nga, yung katulad ng sinabi ko kanina, kapag kasi nasa open si tayo, yung wave na, ma- na mararamdaman natin or yung mafe-feel natin pag nasa loob tayo ng, ng barko is just like a normal wave. So, sabi nga namin, kapag may, may tsunami at nasa open si ka, hindi mo mararamdaman na may tsunami na palang paparating. Mak- makikita mo lang siya or mararamdaman mo lang siya pag papunta na siya sa coastal area. Kasi doon palang tumataas yung wave. And ang sabi nga namin, ang advice natin kapag merong mga, mga barko na nasa open sea at meron tayong tsunami warning, they should remain sa, sa open sea or yung mga nakaangkla sa, sa pier kung merong panahon para pumunta sa open sea, mas magandang pumunta sila doon. Mas safe sila doon compared sa nandun sila sa coastal area. Kasi nga, lahat nung uh, dadaanan ng wave, dahil sa, laka, sa taas ng wave, pwede siyang buhatin, buhatin yung mga structures, buhatin yung mga, mga barko at i-dump na lang kung saan man dat- pupunta yung wave na yun. Alright, okay. So, meron pa tayong another clip, sir. Okay. So, meron pa tayong another clip, sir. Okay. So, sa ating next clip. Okay. So, bakit ko pinakita sa inyo yan? Napapansin natin, um, pwede nating maiparating sa mga tao ano nga ba ang science and technology? ba diba? parang through our platform, through broadcasting, mas ipapaliwanag natin yung application ng mga napag-aralan lang natin nung elementary tayo, nung high school tayo. ba diba? through programs na katulad ng DOS TV, we can get to know more about SNT and its application on our daily lives. So yung mga movies na napapanood natin, Pwede nag enjoy tayo, na entertain tayo. Pero yung application nito, totoo ba ang mangyayari or posible ba mangyari doon sa ating buhay? So yung po mga ganong klase ng programa na ipinapakita namin sa DOS TV ay nakikita namin yung relevance ng ating mga ginagawa at yung ating goal na iparating talaga sa mga tao kung ano yung totoo or pwedeng mangyari. Uh, sa kanila unan, let's say climate change and other other uh, possible disaster na mangyayari sa atin. Okay? So, mag-jump naman tayo after that special feature. We also have Animagham. Ito naman, ang Animagham. Play natin yung Animagham. Buti na lang at may mga ganitong ulat panahon, no? Paano ba natin nalalaman kung ano ang magiging lagay ng panahon kinabukasan? Ang ulat panahon o pagtataya ng lagay ng panahon ay nagiging posible sa tulong ng ating mga scientists at ng iba't ibang klase ng instrumento na ginagamit nila upang suriin ang panahon. Ah! Ganun pala! Ayan, so yan po ang aming bagong-bagong uh, programa sa DOS TV, Annie Magham. So samahan niyo si Annie, Mason at Tar sa kanilang Aghamazing Adventure sa pagtuklas ng mga kaalaman tungkol sa science and technology sa bansa. So meron tayong mga animated segments ngayon sa DOS TV para naman syempre yung sa mga young at heart na katulad natin na nandito sa, sa Zoom meeting, di ba? Parang at least ka ay pa paano may mga ganitong mga klase ng programa ay malinang pa yung ating um, imahinasyon through uh, animation, di ba? Para at least yung mga bata, baka nakakalimot na sila sa uh, science and technology program. So yung mga ganito at least catchy sa kanilang attention kung medyo lalagyan natin ng uh, konting artistic uh, effect, di ba? Alright, so next na po tayo. So after ilang years ng aming pagpoprograma sa DOS TV since 2016, Uh, 2017, nakakatuwa dahil um, sa loob ng anim na taon, napakalawak na nang narating o yung milestone ng DOS TV. Since 2016, nag-start kami through online and then eventually 2017, uh, we started airing 
on PTV4 and GNN. So meron na kaming TV network na pinalalabasan, hindi na lang kami digital or online, di ba? And then at our uh, on our first year, nakatanggap na kami ng mga parangal uh, such as Most Trusted Science TV Program by Gawad Filipino and also na Kasama na rin po ang ating programa sa National Priority Program, uh, 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 priority ng NEDA. So ito po ay napakalaking karangalan para sa amin dahil uh, bibihira at piling-pili lang naman talaga yung mga nakakasama sa NEDA Priority Development Plan. And after that, 2018, iba't iba na rin yung mga nasama namin. US TV, Anak TV, ayun, importante to Anak TV, SEAL Awardee na po ang ating programang DOS TV. Siyempre, once naging Anak TV Awardee ka or meron ka ng SEAL, masasabi natin na uh, kumbaga worthy yung ating programa dahil may value, di ba? yung importante na Uh, family oriented yung ating palabas at talagang malaki yung kapakinabangan sa kabuuan hindi lang bata sa buong pamilya talaga na maituturing next slide po tayo okay so 2019 ayan boom <laughs> diba so from one award marami na pong karangalan na receive ang DOS TV such as Anvil Award um ang dami pa kasing award na hindi ko na lang din maalala pa yung iba. And uh, yan po makikita ninyo, PMPC Star Awards for TV and the Anvil Award. Ito po yung public relations for outstanding PR programs na nakuha po ng ating programa yung Silver Anvil Award. Uh, doon sa iba't ibang mga segmento na isinabmit natin and the Gold Anvil Awards para doon sa ating segment or episode na ang category ay um, uh, Sustained Basis Environment, Science and Technology. Ayan. Talagang alam niyo po, gusto ko lang i-share sa inyo na nakakataba ng puso yung mga ganitong karangalan. Pero at the same time, ito kasi nagsisilbing motivation para sa aming lahat na ipagpatuloy yung aming ginagawa dahil... At, doon namin nakikita na ay okay, meron pala silbe yung ating ginagawang programa. Okay, so yung hindi lang tayo basta nagpapagod ng wala lang. Pero at the same time, kahit na bumubuo kami ng production, masaya yung aming puso na nakikilala naman yung ating mga programa. Hindi lang sa loob ng gobyerno, even the private uh, organization ay napapansin na yung ating mga ginagawang programa sa loob ng, ng DOST. Okay, next slide po. Alright, so yan, 2020, ayan po yung Gandingan uh, Award. Ito po nakakatuwa dahil gusto ko i-share sa inyo na nakuha po ng DOS TV yung major award sa Gandingan, which is the Gandingan ng Kaunlaran, Most Development Oriented Radio, TV, and Online Platform. Dahil uh, during that year, meron na rin po tayong programa sa radio, which is DOS TV sa radio. May eri po tayo noon sa... Uh, Radio Pilipinas. Ayan. So, iba't iba na yung ating paraan ng pagbo-broadcast. Meron tayong radio, meron tayong TV, meron na rin tayong online platform. Kaya, mas pinalakas, mas pinalawak pa natin yung paghahatid natin ng balita at impormasyon sa mundo ng science and technology. Next slide po. And our partners, ito po yung ating mga naging katuwang sa pagpapatuloy o pagtataguyod ng ating programa. We have Enchanted Kingdom, uh, UP Alkims, Women's Fear, and Philippine Society of Youth Science Clubs. Kaya naman po doon sa ating mga kasama ngayon, ay open na open po ang aming programa for collaboration. At uh, excited kami, baka meron tayong maging partner dito sa DOS TV para naman mas mapalawig pa natin yung ating goal na maiparating sa bawat Pilipino ang science and technology. Alright? So yung susunod ko pong talk or di-discuss, eh, siguro mga brief um, guide lang din ito on how we make the production uh, inside DOS TV. Next slide po. So how do we make it? Next slide po. So sa production, meron tayong tinatawag na different faces. So baka meron tayong mga kasama dito sa room na mahilig gumawa ng film, mahilig mag-docu, di ba? So itong mga isi-share ko sa inyo, ito lang yung mga 
uh, ilang paraan kung paano nga namin binubuo yung isang programa o yung isang storya na inilalabas doon sa ating program na DOS TV. Next po. Production phases. We have pre-production, production, and post-production. Baka kasi akala na iba, mag-shoot lang kami, pero wala na kaming ginawang uh, different plan. So kung mapapansin po ninyo, pre-production pa lang, marami na pong uh, ginagawa dyan. And then the production up to the post-production. So puntahan po muna, ano nga ba yung mga production phases? Next po. So sa production phases, dito makikita ninyo uh, nagsisimula yung pagpaplano. Uh, paano nga ba? Doon pala nag-pitch na kami ng stories and yung script writing. Uh, kung maaari na andun pa lang, hindi yung sasabak na kami sa location, ay doon pa lang kami bubuo ng kabuuan ng storya. Pero uh, sa simula, meron na kami mga shortlist or guides on how we will make the production itself during the, the shooting date na Uh, magkoconduct na kami ng taping or interviews. So, casting, nandiyan na. And then, yung costing, pwede i-discuss na doon, di ba? And uh, script lines, or scheduling, yung location, scouting. Lahat doon, nagagawa na ng aming production team. Yung coordination, kung provinces man yan, ay uh, maaga pa lang nakikipag-coordinate na para hindi tayo mangarag pagdating doon sa mismong location. And then the production, ito yun naman yung mga production. Uh, kasama na dyan yung, of course, the direction, camera operation, lighting, sound recording, and then yung actual uh, interviews o yung acting, kung gagamitin natin yung uh, filmmaking, di ba? And the post-production, dito na pumapasok yung video editing, yung paghihimay uh, na o pag-mix mo na ng mga visual materials mo, kung meron ka mga graphics, and pwede ka na mag-lumabas yung, kumbaga, yung creative juice mo doon sa post-production. Pwede ka na mag-insert ng mga graphics and other special effects and transition. Next po. Okay, so sa production phases, na-discuss ko na kanina, so yung meron tayong mga tinatawag na screenwriting, storyboarding, assembling a crew, and etc. So kung makikita nyo doon sa mga pictures, doon pa lang nag-meeting na kami, and meron kami isang location, kung maaalala ko, uh, ito ay part ng Iloilo. So itong picture na ito na nasa itaas, ayan, yung nasa field is with uh, Dr. Georgie Primavera. So siya yung mangrove um, specialist, uh, expert talaga. So meron kami interview dyan na nakakatuwa dahil uh, kailangan namin lumublob talaga sa tubig habang nag interview And nagtanim kami ng mangrove para ma-capture talaga namin yung paano nga ba Uh, na tumutubo o paano alagaan at i-preserve yung mga mangrove. Ano nga ba ang kalaga, kahalagahan ng mangrove, etc. So, uh, before kami mag-shoot, nakipag-usap na kami, nakipag-meet na kami with Dr. Georgine and doon sa kanila mga staff na makakatulong namin. Next po. Storyboarding. Storyboarding, Um, dito pwede nyo nang i-sequence or i-line up yung magiging flow ng inyong production. So parang nai-imagine mo na ano nga ba yung gusto mong maging takbo or execution kung one minute or two minutes lang yung, yung ipoproduce na, na clip or uh, na seg segment, buo mo na para meron ka ng idea na susundan na lang ng team mo. So meron ka storyboard, nakasulat na din yung possible script ng post mo and then yung mga angles na uh, kukunin ng mga cameraman. Next slide po. So kung mapapansin nyo yung mga terms natin, parang wala siyang pinag-iba pagdating sa filmmaking. So also we have screenplay. Ano nga may screenplay? Di ba? Parang ito po yung pagsusulat naman ng script uh, or of a film or the program na magagamit ng ating full production. So, Even yung talent mo, yung host mo, meron na siyang idea kung ano nga ba yung tatakbuhin nung inyong gagawing shooting. Hindi yung parang pagdating doon, mabibigla na lang si host na, okay, interviewin mo yan, bahala ka na kung anong sasabihin mo dyan. Ha? 
uh, tipo na makipagkwentuhan, gano'n. So, hindi maganda na sasabak tayo sa gera na wala tayong bala. Uh, yung point sabi natin na parang dapat lagi tayong handa. Once na bubuo na tayo ng isang programa, na uh, lalo na kung science and technology, ang aim kasi natin, di ba, parang paano mga ba natin ipauunawa sa karamihan yung mga uh, terminologies, ano ba yung mga sinasabi nila about science and technology, di ba, parang uh, mas makikita natin na napaghandaan ng, ng mabuti. Okay? Next po. Okay, ito. Assembling a crew. Um, luckily, 2020, uh, since marami kaming segment sa DOS TV, nagkaroon kami ng maraming staff. So, bawat segment, meron akong segment writer, meron akong cameraman. So, bawat segment, siguro, meron kaming 3 to 4 crew na bumubuo talaga sa programa. Pero kung sisimulan naman natin kahit sa maliit na paraan lang, ay kakayanin naman. So, kailangan lang natin talaga ng cameraman, uh, uh, at least one researcher, and uh, production assistant and coordinator na rin at the same time and also of course the director and the segment producer. Sa segment producer, siya na rin kasi nagsisilbing director doon sa aming programa. So, um, naitataguyod naman yung aming palabas at syempre, hindi nasisira yung quality kahit pasabihin mong kukunti lang yung bilang ng staff. At doon sa ating mga kasama dito, I know marami sa inyo interesado sa pagbuo ng ganito mga Uh, klase ng programa and, and sana yung mga binabahagi namin sa inyo ngayon ay makatulong din para sa inyo uh, soon sana maging contributor kayo sa ating programang DOS TV. Next, we have the casting. Next slide po. Usually, kapag ka nag-interview kami para lang mas mabuo yung isang istorya, meron kami mga uh, parang ibang tao pa na involved para mas makuha namin yung yung kumbaga yung mas malalim pang istorya na gusto namin buuin. So yung casting hindi lang isang tao na interview namin. So pwede may support from their family or doon sa ibang staff siguro na makakatulong para mas mapaganda pa yung istorya. Next po. Yan. So kanina na mention ko na yung location scouting. Next na lang po. Okay, so set design. Pwede nga halimbawa kahit maliit lang yung area, nagagawa natin ng magiba yung mukha niya, di ba? Importante sa isang production yung creativity, yung mas malawak na pag-iisip, mas malikot na pag-iisip. So, um, kung ang shooting mo ay 10 a.m., we make it a point na at least 7 or 7 a.m. naka-set up na kami, naghahanap na kami ng area, saan ba natin pwede tayo, yung mga ilaw natin, yung camera natin, baka against the light, di ba? So, importante na bawat angulo ay uh, captured, lalo na kung maselan yung director namin or yung segment producer namin, mas gusto niya iba't iba yung uh, aspect ng kanyang uh, program or ng kanyang story, di ba? So, next, we have the direction. Okay, yan. Okay. So yan po, ang ating director, sila na rin talaga yung nagsisilbi na, siya actually ang director namin at the same time, siya kasi yung segment producer. So doon pa lang sa kanyang istorya, alam niya na kung paano niya i-execute and paano niya i-command yung buong team. Next. Camera operator, ito po yung ating mga videographer. Um, sa amin, hindi, hindi na kailangan, kung minsan hindi na kailangan i-command ng director dahil sa uh, iba rin yung kakayanan ng ating mga cameraman sa DOS TV. So sila pa lang alam na nila kung ano yung magandang angulo kahit dumapa siya, pumilipit yung katawan niya, makuha lang yung magandang angulo ay gagawin talaga ng ating mga cameraman. Next. Lighting, ito po importante. Baka kasi uh, yung ilaw natin, di ba, ang dilim-dilim o kaya naman nasa likod, sunog nang lumalabas yung ating subject. And even sa virtual uh, meetings natin during the interviews, uh, ginagawa na po namin na ipinatatama namin yung pwesto ng ilaw para kahit na virtual lang yung ating mga programa ay maganda pa rin yung epekto, di ba? Hindi yung 
kahit na virtual na, parang ang lungkot-lungkot tignan, di ba? Para mas maganda, na lively pa rin, maganda yung kalalabasa, kalalabasa ng ating production. Next is, next slide po. Sound recording, importante ang audio. Ang hirap ng mag interview ka, tapos hindi lumabas yung gusto mo doon sa interview mo kasi nasira pala yung mic o wala palang battery yung lapel. Di ba parang mas mabuti kung bubuo kayo ng inyong production, importanteng-importante po ang audio. Kasi sayang na sayang yung makukuha nating informasyon, lalo na kung nag interview tayo at pumalpak ang audio, di ba? Okay, next po. Alright, syempre, importante, meron tayong talent kapag kabubuo tayo ng isang production. Yan po yung ating tinatawag na host. Meron tayong mga anchors. And um, sila yung nagsisilbing, sabi natin, mukha ng isang programa. So lahat ng mga nasa likod ng pagbuo ng isang programa ay makikita natin on paano ba dinideliver ng isang talent o ng isang host yung mga uh, behind the scenes, yung mga background stories na binuo ng from your researchers, from the directors, from the segment producers, doon sa mga cameraman, up to the editing, di ba? Yung mga post-production na sinasabi natin. Ito po yung next slide natin sa so post-production. So sa post-production, dyan na binubuo lahat nung nag-gather nating information, lahat nung nakuha nating materiales from our location shoot, ay dyan na magkakaalaman, di ba? Parang paano nga ba nabuo? Sabihin mo, binuo namin ang istorya ng four or three to four days, pero i-airy lang siya ng two minutes, pero worth it naman dahil alam namin pinaghirapan nyo ng aming team at alam namin na magiging makabuluhan yung ating ginagawa para sa publiko. Susunod po, ito pakita po namin sa inyo ang aming DOS TV teaser. Panoorin po natin. <tinyo> Okay na po. And that's it po mga kaibigan. Maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong pakikinig at lagi nga namin paalala sa DOS TV sa ano mga hamon ng buhay, ang agham at teknolohiya ang ating kaagapay. Kaya naman po narito ang ating programang DOS TV Science for the People. Thank you so much po. Ayan, maraming 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 salamat po Miss Jel. Ang ating mahusay at award-winning na host ng DOSTV sa pagbabahagi ng mga programa ng DOSTV. Inaulit ko po, ang layunin ng DOSTV ay maibahagi ang mga kaganapan sa siyensya at teknolohiya sa lahat ng Pilipino sa pamamagitan ng iba't ibang programa. Para po sa kaalaman ng lahat, ang tagline po ng DOST ay Science for the People. And very proud po kami sa DOST STII sa mga achievements ni Miss Jel Miranda at ng buong DOSTV. Ayan. So, uh, bigyan po natin ng virtual clap si Miss Jel. Ayan. At ngayon naman po ay dadako na tayo sa open forum. Ayan. Ready na po ba kayo Miss Jel? <laughs> Parang bigla akong kinabahan. Sige po, ready na po. <laughs> Ayan. So, uh, ito po ang napakagandang tanong. From our anonymous attendee, ang tanong po niya is, what preparations did you do to make yourself 
credible and knowledgeable host considering mm -hmm. the technical topics covered in the different productions. Mm -hmm. So, um, tama ba ang pagkakaunawa kung paano ko inipinahanda ang sarili ko? Actually, yes, um, sabi ko nga, um, hindi talaga ito yung forte ko. Pero, uh, siguro, uh, mabuti rin na before ka humarap sa camera, meron ka na mga sariling pag-aaral bukod dun sa ibinigay sa'yo ng production team mo. Di ba? Parang uh, usually meron silang, lalo na kung magkukondak ako ng interview, meron mga guide questions binibigay sa akin. Pero hindi kasi ako nagre-rely doon sa guide questions na binibigay sa akin. Mas gusto ko kasi yung maging flow ng interview ay maging spontaneous, very conversational lang yung takbo para mas maging magaan din yung takbo ng aming programa, lalo na kung interview nga siya. Di ba parang mas nagiging, nakukuha ko kasi yung loob nung tina, ini-interview ko, mas nagiging magaan yung nagiging takbo ng aming shooting kapag ka ganun. Pero, syempre, kung paghahanda at paghahanda, uh, kung i-set aside natin yung technical aspect, di ba parang ikaw sa sarili mo, alam mo kung paano ka maging professional once na humarap ka sa camera. Ito lagi ko sinasabi, once na humarap ako sa camera, nagkakaroon na ako ng ibang personality. Pero pagka yung off-cam, siguro hindi, hindi naman po ako ganito kaingay. <laughs> Ganun po. Pero pagka yun na kailangan na, tawag na ng pagkakataon, kailangan ko magsalita. Ayun po. Thank you. Ayan. Thank you so much, Miss Jill. And uh, ngayon daw, Uh, ngayon, ang tinatanong po nila is how can we access or subscribe DOS TV? Ah, gusto natin yan. Ayan po, wala kayo ibang gawin kundi uh, sa Facebook. Sundan nyo kami sa aming official social media accounts, Facebook and um, YouTube, ayan, and ano pa ba, Twitter and Instagram. Very active po kami dyan. Kahit na nagkaroon ng pandemya, hindi po kami huminto sa aming pagpagpag pagpo-programa kahit na hindi na daily yung aming program ay uh, we are um parang very proud kami na i-share sa inyo na nagpatuloy po yung ating programang DOS TV sa paghahayag ng mga information lalong-lalo lalo na Uh, na ngayon na may pandemya dala nga ng COVID-19. Ito yung pagkakataon talaga na maihayag natin sa karamihan. Ano nga ba ang magagawa ng science and technology sa ganitong mga sitwasyon na pagkakataon? Ayan. So madali lang po ang kailangan gawin oh. sa lahat ng mga social media. Nandun po si DOSTV. Ayan. At kung gusto nyo... Ayan. DOSTV. <laughs> At kung gusto nyo pong makita ang kanilang mga previous segments, punta lang po kayo sa kanilang YouTube channel. Ayan, so mag-subscribe na po. And next question, Miss Jel from Grace Kalalo. I'm just curious, how long will it take to finally finish a segment from pre to post-production? Um, yun po, usually, ang post, ang um, good action talaga, Uh, uh, two days. Take your army staff na one day to two araw. Meron na kami buong istorya or meron na kami uh, buong uh, ano to, production. Pero ngayon, since pandemic, kung virtual lang naman yung aming pinalalabas ngayon, katulad ng Expert Talk Online, uh, mas maganda kasi meron na kami mga nakabangkong episode. So, dahil siguro sa experiences na lang din ng aming staff, nagagawa nila within two days <laughs> yung aming full production. So, buo na yon may voice voiceover, meron ng script, naka from script writing, uh, di ba, interview, script writing, and then the voiceover up to the post-production, which is the editing inside. Ayan. So, uh, narinig at nakita din po natin kanina sa presentation ni Miss Jel. At ngayon, wala na po akong nakikitang mga katanungan. At kung may hahabol pa, habang nag-iisip pa po kayo ng itatanong, ako po muna ang magtatanong. <laughs> Mahirap, mama. <laughs> Ayan, alam niyo po ba kung ano lagi kong tanong kay Miss Jill? Ayan. Ang tanong ko po sa kanya ay, how to be you po? Ayan, bukod sa napakaganda niya at napakahusay, ayan, nakita namin, nakita natin 
na uh, from a very different background, uh, going to broadcasting, ayan, uh, nakita natin ang galing-galing niya ngayon at uh, napakarami siyang mga awards. So, uh, ako lang po ba yung may katanungan na ganun? <laughs> ayan, kasi po nasa ibang field tayo, right? Sa library. Ayan, so how to be you po? Ano po ba yung mga uh, kailangang ihanda sa sarili, <laughs> sa isip? <laughs> Go Kanya mo talaga, Miss Irene. <laughs> okay, syempre siguro baka meron tayo dito na no? pwede nating ma-discover na new talents, di ba? Parang baka akala natin, ito lang yung kaya natin gawin. Pero sooner or later, madidiscover pa natin, ay, ah, meron pa pala akong other skills, di ba? Pero kasi sa sitwasyon ko, kung isi-share ko po sa inyo, ay... Hindi naging madali dahil para naging sapilitan yung pagsisimula ko. Dahil kung babalikan ko ako doon sa dati kong istasyon, ay pinilit lang ako. Sabi ng gano'n ng management, subukan mong mag-news update. Sabi ko, ay hindi po, hindi, hindi ko kaya magsalita. Sige, palipas na. Sige, sumukan mo ulit. During that time, buntis na po ako. So, ay hindi po, ayoko po, kamukha ko si Shrek. Kasi magang-maga talaga ako ng mga panahon na yun. Hanggang sa makapanganak ako, binalikan pa rin nila ako. Parang yung time na yun, nahihiya na akong tumanggi. So, sinubukan ko. And one year po akong nag-training, dumaan sa training, nagbabasa ako ng prompter, minimakeup ako ng makeup artist para lang makuha ko ano nga ba yung tamang appearance ko on cam. So, araw-araw kong ginagawa yun na hindi naman ako lumalabas, hindi ako umiere, practice-practice lang. Hanggang sa, pwede na, parang sabi ganun, okay, hinog ka na, pwede ka na mag-live. And siguro araw-araw ko, ay, para sa akin, ay learning process. Hindi ako nagpapakakampante na, okay, ito yung ginagawa ko araw-araw, kayang-kaya ko na yan gawin, di ba? Parang, bawat ginagawa kong programa o once na humaharap ako sa mga tao ay inaaral ko din. Hindi ako pwedeng basta sumabak ng hindi ako prepared or hindi ako ready kasi mahirap ma na maging masyado kang tiwala naman sa sarili mo, di ba? Parang hindi naman maganda yung ito. Yun po. Ayan, thank you for sharing that, Miss Jill. Ayan, nadagdagan na po ang ating mga uh, katanungan. Ayan. Next question po. Uh, can we share uh, the videos or um, segments posted in your channel po? Well, in any time po, talagang ano po yan, for free. <laughs> mas maganda nga po yun, may share po talaga natin sa lahat, di ba? Para naman, mas maraming pang makaalam na meron pa pala tayong ganitong klaseng programa. And uh, thank you in advance po. So, nagtanong na pwedeng i-share. Pwedeng pwede po. <laughs> Ayan. And... Uh, isa pa po, Ms. Jel, ang tinatanong po nila if may data po kayo kung nagagamit ng public schools ang DOSTV as one of the learning platforms. Kung Ay, meron, ano po ang statistics? Um, ang alam ko po, kasi meron kami mga partnered uh, schools, kung, kung tama po ako, ha? parang piniplay nila doon yung ilang mga programa. Hindi lang schools eh. Uh, even private company katulad ng uh, Fastcat. <laughs> so nasa barko, lumalabas po yung ating programa. Ginagamit nila yon para maipakita doon sa mga sakay nila na mga pasahero. And Philippine Science High School, I think ginagamit din po nila yung ating mga programa para maipakita doon sa mga estudyante. Ayan. So pwedeng pwede. Okay. Next question. Uh, although I think na may nasabi na dito kanina si Miss Jel, how do you hone your skills considering you did not took mass communication? Gusto niyo po bang ulitin ang sagot ninyo? <laughs> um, yun po, ano lang, parang... Uh, <laughs> may, sorry po, may nagpupukok dito sa amin. <laughs> Ayan. Uh, ano lang talaga, araw-araw bas saka hindi ka pwedeng mahinto ng pagbabasa parang everyday since nasa news industry nga ako di ba parang ang um, buhay talaga namin nakikinig na ako ng nung araw may radio pa po kami maniwala kayo nakikinig po ako ng radio tuwing umaga kasi pagka radio updated siya so doon pala alam ko na yung balita 
for for that day and uh, since meron tayong mga Facebook and other uh, social media mas nakikita ko na doon yung mga kaganapan dito and yun lang parang araw-araw ano pa ba yung pwede ko i-develop sa sarili ko yun na lagi kong iniisip kasi noon hindi ako tiwala sa kakayanan ko lagi ko sasabi ay ang pangit ng boses ko ay ang pangit ko magsalita so parang ako in a way nagiging um critic nagkikritik ako sa sarili ko, ang ginawa ko talaga, pinapanood ko ko yung sarili ko para at least alam ko kung ano yung pwede kong i-develop, yung pagngiti ko, yung pagsasalita ko, yung boses ko, kung kailangan ko ba siyang imodulate, imodulate, or yung bilis ba ng pagsasalita ko, baka kailangan bagal-bagalan ko ng konti. So, yun yung isang paraan ko din po pala na parang, mas napansin ko kung paano ko siyang i-develop. Dahil ako mismo, pinapanood ko yung sarili ko. At alam ko kung ano yung kailangan kong bagulo. Yun po. Ayan. Thank you so much, Miss Jel, for sharing that. So, ang bottom line is, never stop learning. Ayan. So, lagi po tayong maghahanap ng paraan para uh, map pa um, ma- ma-arm natin ang ating mga sarili ng mga skills to better ourselves. Ayan. And uh, may isa po na interesado, Miss Jill. Uh, can you share tips on how to edit videos and what up to you so that the presentation will come out presentable? Since sa una daw po, um, nasabi po ninyo na um, you did some video editing. Mm-hmm. Um, kasi since, <laughs> wait lang po ah, ang ginagamit talaga namin ay yung mismong pang-professional na, which is the Adobe Premiere. Tama po yung ginagamit ng aming staff. And before, ang ginagamit ko ang pang-edit ay Final Cut Pro. Um, ngayon kasi may mga downloadable na rin na pwede ka mag-edit ng video eh. Ang, alam ko lang yung kay Master na katulad last time or next week din actually, meron akong seminar with the students in Caraga. So yun yung kanilang mga ginagamit na mga application uh, uh, nung nagpa-seminar ako sa kanila. So doon na-test ko kung paano nga ba sila gumawa ng science story. So kahit na through your phone, pwede kayo mag-edit basta... Uh, magiging maganda yung quality ng video and audio. Pero hindi po kasi kung ay ganun ka, uh, wala ka masyadong idea pagdating dun sa mga nada-download lang din na mga editing apps through phone po. <laughs> Ayun. So ang next question, Miss Jel, is pwede po ba nila kayong imbitahan uh, to conduct workshops on um, uh, production or hosting? Oh. Yes, ma'am. Opo, anytime po. <laughs> Basta po wala akong taping. <laughs> Ayan. So, kung gusto po, uh, po nating matuto kay Miss Jel, pwedeng-pwede po tayong uh, mag-request na mag-conduct po siya ng uh, workshop or um, seminar or webinar po. Ayan. Para mas uh, malaman pa natin kung ano yung mga dapat natin na i-develop na skills related po sa field ng broadcasting. Ayan. And, aha. May nagtatunong po, Ms. Jel. Uh, we have attendees from the public schools here. Uh, mm-hmm. Any message you can give them so that the USTV can be maximized as learning resource in public schools? Mm-hmm. Okay. So, so dun po sa ating mga kasama dito na... Um, Uh, attendees from public schools and alam mo, very proud po ako na sabihin, ako po ay bunga ng public school at uh, talagang iba po yung mga na share o na ibahagi sa akin na aking paaralan, which is New Era Elementary School hanggang nag high school po ako ay nasa public school ako kaya po yung pagkakataon na ito na ibinabahagi ko po sa inyo ang DOS TV. Meron po tayong iba't ibang programa na magagamit po ng ating mga estudyante para mas malinang pa mm-hmm. Ayan. So, uh, medyo nagkakaproblema po uh, si Ms. Jel sa kanilang sa kanyang internet connection. Ibang sa... Hello po? Ayan, sige. Miss Jel, uh, pwede po bang pakiulit? Ayan po. 
Okay, so yung po, ulitin ko na lang din, syempre isa po sa ating uh, paraan na um, ma, ang ating programang DOSTV ay isa ding paraan para mahikayat natin yung mga estudyante na tahakin ang STEM or Science, Technology, Engineering and Mathematics, di ba? Parang uh, dito sa ating bansa, talagang kulang na kulang po tayo sa mga magagaling na scientists. may pagmamalaki ko po ang aking paaralan ng <laughs> yung era elementary school, di ba? And uh, sana nga yung ating programang DOS TV, pwede nyo pong magamit yan sa inyong mga um, module. Pwede yan, di ba? Doon sa mga students ngayon, ginagamit nila yan. And meron, katulad po ng mga pinakita ko sa inyo, meron tayong iba't ibang segmento sa DOS TV ma-engage pa natin yung mga students na mahali naman nila ang science and technology. Ayan. Thank you so much, Miss Jel. At uh, pwede po ba nating ulitin kung ano yung email address po ng DOSTV, kung paano po kayo uh, marireach kapag meron po silang mga request for webinars or workshops? Mm -hmm. Um, wait lang po ha. Hindi ko ganun kabisado, ma'am. Ang DOS TV, pwede ko i-email, ano na lang, uh, isend na lang sa inyo. Hindi ko sure, ma'am, eh, kasi <laughs> ang staff natin talaga sumasagot dun sa mga inquiries ng DOS TV. Ayan. Yes, but pwedeng-pwede po kayong mag-message sa kanila via Facebook. O, yan na lang Ayan. po. Yes. At uh, mabilis din po ang kanilang pagsagot po sa inyo. Yan. So, I think uh, okay na po tayo. Wala na pong mga katanungan. Ayan. Once again, uh, kapag may mga request po kayo uh, for Miss Jel to conduct webinars or workshops, just message po um, DOS TV via their Facebook page. And don't forget po to, to um, subscribe doon po sa kanilang DOS TV YouTube channel. Ayan. So, Miss Jel, ang galing-galing nyo daw po. Thank you so much. At pwede na po kayong pumalit kay Jessica Soho. Sabi ni Miss Emily Ancheta. Ayan. Ayan. Okay. So, once again, ayan. Miss Jel? Thank you, ma'am. Thank you so much po sa inyong lahat. Ayan. Thank you so much everyone. Thank you so much Miss Jel. At sa mga um, nakibahagi po sa pamagitan ng pagtatanong, ayun maraming 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 salamat po sa inyo. At ayun, may humahabol. Pwede na po kayong pantapat kay Corina Sanchez. Corina Sanchez ba? <laughs> Ayan. So ngayon bilang pasasalamat po sa ating dalawang resource speaker. Tinatawag ko po si Ms. Linderlip M. Maglake upang ibigay ang kanilang uh, Certificate of Appreciation. Thank you, Irene. And again, thank you very much po, uh, Ms. Jell and Ms. Michelle. Ayan. Thank you for our speakers for a very enlightening, insightful inspiring, nakaka-motivate, and very positive na presentation. Mapapasa na all ka na lang. Ayan. So we really learned a lot from your sharing and we salute you on your passion to contribute to the community, lalo na sa SNP. And with that, on behalf of the Department of Science and Technology, Science and Technology Information Institute, in partnership with the Philippine Librarians Association Incorporated, we would like to present this Certificate of Appreciation to Ms. Michelle B. Arispe for sharing her knowledge and insights at, as a resource speaker for the topic titled Nuclear Information for All, Research Support at PNRI. And we would also like to present the Certificate of Appreciation to Ms. Jelmy Liberty A. Miranda for sharing her knowledge and insights as a resource speaker for the topic titled DOSTV, Science for the People, during the 31st Library and Information Services Month with the team Libraries, Building Roads, Leaders, Opportunities, Advocacies, Development, Sustainability, held on July, ay, July, on 8 to 10, November 2021, sorry, via Zoom and Facebook Live. 
given this 10th day of November 2021, signed by our Director, Director Richard P. Burgos, and Fly President, Ms. Emma Emre. So again, thank you very much po, Ms. Michelle and Ms. Jel. Nakaka-inspire. And with that, we, all, we would also like to... Uh, to thank our sign language interpreter. Yan ang magagaling nating mga sign language interpreters na kasama natin since day one until today. Mga ma'am, saludo po kami sa inyo. Ang gagaling niyo po. And with that, we would like to present the Certificate of Appreciation to Ma'am Emil as Rosalie A. Makaspak for sharing her expertise as a sign language interpreter during the 31st Library Information Services Month. We would also like to present the Certificate of Appreciation to Ms. Natividad Falconit Natividad, ayan, si Ma'am Natividad Natividad, <laughs> for sharing her expertise as a sign language interpreter. Mm -hmm. And again, and to Ms. Ember Palma Parpa, ayan, for sharing her, her expertise as a sign language interpreter during the 31st Library and Information Services Month with the team Libraries Building Roads, Readers, Opportunities, Advocacies, Development Sustainability held on 8 to 10 November 2021 via Zoom and Facebook Live given this 10th day of November 2021 signed by our Director, Director Richard P. Burgos and Fly President, Ms. Emma M. Ray. So again, thank you very much po mga mams. And we would also like to thank everyone who are still here watching us via Zoom and Facebook Live. Maraming maraming salamat po sa pagstay nyo and pagsama nyo sa amin for three days. We really appreciate your presence at ating three-day event. And now, we go to our closing ceremonies. Pero magkakaroon muna tayo ng photo op with our speakers. So back to you, Irene. Ayan. So may we request our um, resource speakers and our uh, sign language interpreters to open their cam. Ayan. Magkakaroon po tayo ng photo op. And even all our panelists po. Michelle. <laughs> Hi, Ma'am Emma. Good afternoon. Ayan. So, okay na daw po. Thank you so much. Yeah. To our resource speakers, to our sign language interpreters, maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong uh, patience. <laughs> Thank you po for joining us in our three-day webinar. At ngayon, ayan, sa mga nagtatanong po ng evaluation, mamaya pa po yun. ating session. Ayan. At hopefully, narito na po ang ating mga winners. Uh, Miss Linder, narito na po ba sila? Okay, balik tayo sa entry number one. Ayan, so narito po ang mga contest na ating ginanap. Ang fan art contest. So we have entry number one. Uh, hindi po ito yung mga nanalo. These are all entries. So entry number one from uh, Hale A. Gabiano. Ayan. Next, we have from Marcos Lee Aquino. Ayan. We also have from Amaris Brianna Bautista. We uh, we have from Reynaldo F. Diseño. We have from Monica B. Cabarubias. Ang gaganda. 
From CN Nigel Zeke, uh, di ko mabasa yung pangalan. Cordon, Codornes. Ayan. We also have from Jenny B. Fernandez. We have from Ana Beatrice P. Uh, Giga, Gekaraya. Okay, sorry. We also have from Ronnie Hu. Entry number 10 from Maria Cristina Lim. We have from Miguelito I. Maaba. Ganda. We also have from Mihilita O. Mahinay. Dami no. We also have from Victor D. Mira Jr. We also have from Maria Elisha F. Padre. And we have also from John Rick E. Perez. For the Learning at Home Selfie Contest, we have entries from, uh, we have entries such as uh, from this <laughs> contestants, Madeline A. Uh, Aninon. We also have from Rachel Gail Bagtas. Rachel. We have from Amor El Baguio, ang ating masugid na follower at taga Subaybay. We also have from Lilibeth A. Bahuyo. We have from Cassandra Nicole G. Bautista. We have from Fimela Blanco. We also have from Alexis Cass. We also have from Sheila Ichaluse. Okay, we also have from Jenny Fernandez. We have from Shirley E. Fruelda. We also have from Sar uh, Saria Juliana Guantero. We also have from Joyce Reyes. We have from Joan Lim. We have from Maria Cristina Lim. We also have from Benedict Kylie Mercado. We have from Emilia H. Midon. We have from Mark John Allen Nizal. We also have from Vilma F. Taguinod. We have from Dor P. Ramos. We have also for the book face photography contest. We have from Lorena Aquino. Ayan, ang ganda, no? Uh, sa book face photography, you get a book and make it a part of your body. Ayan, entry number two from Micaela G. Fuente Negra. We also have from Red P. Ong. We have from Andre A. Abante. We also have from Jolo Van Clyde Abatayo. We also have from Madeline A. Aninon. We also have from Marietta T. Antone. We also have from Jovi Bendulo. And we also have from Dangelin Bitana. We also have from Dan Rainer de Mesa. We also have from Iris E. Incarnacion. We have from Maricel uh, Gibilagin. <laughs> okay. We also have from Princess B. Innocentio. We also have from Maria Cristina Lim. Ayan. So yung sumali po kanina sa unang contest, nandito din po siya sa book face photography. We also have from Michaela Minya. Another from Anne-Marie Monte D. Ramos. 
we also have from Daryl P. Nabonita. We have from Zandro A. Requizo. We have from Jason S. Cernio. And we also conducted an essay writing contest. And we asked our uh, participants to write about what do they love about DOST STII library. And this entry is from Valerie Joy Abakida. At ang sabi niya, mula 1987, ang DOST STII ay patuloy na tumutulong sa mga mamamayan upang mas lalo pang mabigyan ng kamalayan ang mga tao tungkol sa ag agham at modernong teknolohiya. Ayan. Meron din po tayo galing kay Clarita B. Cosejo. At ang sabi po niya, ang DOST STI Library ay isinilang at nagbigay buhay upang maging daan at instrumento sa mga pagbabago na naganap magaganap at gaganapin pa sa buhay mag-aaral, guro at sa mga mananaliksik. Pangatlong entry galing kay Chinky May Cruz. Sabi niya, for me, libraries, especially DOST STII library, is a safe place, a haven of factual and useful information and services and librarians serving as its front Liners. Ayan. At ang sabi naman po ni Catherine A. Dinosta, ang DOST STII ay ang nangungunang ahensya sa Pilipinas na nakapukos sa pagpapalawak ng kaalaman tungkol sa siyensya teknolohiya upang magamit ito sa mga susunod pang panahon at mapaunlad ang sosyo-ekonomikong kalagayan ng ating bansa. Ayan, ito naman po ay galing kay Jenny Fernandez. With these services provided, it enhances my knowledge not only in my field of my specialization, but on the other areas that is applicable to our daily lives. Indeed, their endeavor is something worthwhile that flames my heart of my first love to read and learn. Ayan. We also have this from Brent Ogamweda. Ang sabi niya, the DOST STII library is revolutionary amid the pandemic. And like the boy, hopefully more students will stumble upon this so they will have something to help them in this crisis. So actually, yung isay po ni uh, Brent ay uh, ginawa po niyang parang kwento. Kaya may nabanggit po dito na like the boy. Ayan, next po. Sabi naman po ni Ronnie Ho, isang malaking tulong ang Starbucks ng DOST STII Library upang ako'y makipagsabayan at maipagpatuloy na palawakin ang aking kaalaman. Ayan. At sabi naman ni Rolly Jugalbot, sabi niya, the reason why I love the DOST STII Library is that aside from providing information on science and technology, they conduct a series of online trainings and webinars that prepare future librarians in their changing environment to provide the information needs of our direct clientele. Ayan, thank you. And we also have here from Mary Rizalyn Lasarte. Ayan, tumitingin po ako sa screen na mas malaki dahil ang screen ko po hindi ko makita yung pangalan. <laughs> Ayan. So, sabi po ni Miss Lazarte, ang tila papalubog na araw na nagsisilbing kamalayan sa kasalukuyan ay nabibigyang buhay ng DOST STII Library na mas nagpapayabong sa pagkatuto kahit sa nakapanghihinang epekto ng pandemyang ito. Ayan. And galing naman po kay Maria Cristina Lim. I wholeheartedly admire those who value education, those who are change adept, plus having the ability to formulate solutions to unprecedented blunders. Thus, I salute DOST and DOST STII Library for being an embodiment of all those three qualities. 
Wow, nakakataba ng puso. Okay. We also have here from Cheris Ludico. Sabi niya, we can irrefutably say that the DOST-STII library has furnished opportunities to a wide range of readers and researchers to cultivate their advocacies to promote and foster society's development and sustainability. Yan. And sabi po ni JC Maya, what I admire the most about the DOST library is its commitment to help the people to easily access information. It is notable that the DOST STII library has the ability to develop competent, knowledgeable, and literate readers. We also have from Benedict Kyle Mercado, sabi po niya, a student like me has been given a chance to foster my learning through the DOST STII library, which instills a sense of perspective and greater comprehension. Yan. From Jaya A. Plamo, sabi niya, what I love about the OST STI library is the information that they provide through online, through online information that gives knowledge to every individual, fastest inf information support, and services that suits us. At sabi naman po ni Rita Rivera, STI library offers a multitude of services be it in printed or electronic form. And informations are readily available and accessible to everyone. And we also have from Mel Jantinosa. Sabi niya, DOST SAI Library has become a tool for Philippines' best scholars. It serves online public access of information that leads to different publications of science and technology as well as innovation. Yan, ang gaganda po ng mga sinabi nila. And finally, we have the Fan Art Contest. Ito na po yung ating, uh, sorry, we have the winners of the Fan Art Contest. At ang third place, I see entry number three, Amaris Brianna G. Bautista. Nandito ka na ba, uh, Amaris? Are you here? Ayan. Uh, wala po si Amaris. Ayan. Aha. Uh -huh. Nan, nandito daw siya. Can you open your cam? And unmute yourself? Maris? Hello po. Ayan. Sige, tech team. Paki pin Ayan, si Miss Amaris. How old are you, Miss Amaris? 14. 14. So you are already in high school. Tama? Yes po. Yan. So, thank you so much and congratulations for winning the third place. Ang second place naman? We have Megilito I. Maaba. Ayan, Megilito, nandito ka na ba? Ayan, wala siya. And finally, ang ating Nanalo bilang first place, I see. Entry number five, Reynaldo I. Bisenyo. Nandito ka na ba, Reynaldo? Ayan, wala din siya. Okay, so since wala siya, ayan. Ang mag-a-award po at mabibigyan lamang po ngayon ng certificate ay si Miss Amaris. Miss Linder? Ayan. <laughs> okay, thank you, Irene. So, on behalf again of the Department of Science and Technology, Science and Technology Information Institute, so we would like to present the certificate of recognition to our winner, Amaris Diana G. Bautista, for winning the third place 
in the fan art contest during the celebration of the 31st LIS month celebration with the team libraries building roads. So given this 10th day of November 2021, signed by our director, Director Richard P. Burgos. So again, congratulations sa iyo, uh, Amaris Briana. And all, sana ano, uh, sumali ka ulit sa mga future ano, activities namin and contest. And also, wait for your prize. Papadeliver namin dyan sa inyo. Ako ra Ayan. So once again, congratulations, Miss Amaris. Uh -huh. And to all our... Um, Senders of the or participants, ayan, thank you so much for joining our fan art contest. Ang susunod naman po ay ang mga nanalo ng learning at home selfie contest. And ang ating third place ay walang iba kundi si Amor El Baguio. Ayan, nasabi ko po kanina, isa po siya sa aming mga, sa aming masugid na gatubaybay. Gatubaybay. Okay po. Good afternoon po sa lahat. Thank you, DOST. Ayan. So, uh, inaasahan po namin na makakasama pa po namin kayo sa aming mga susunod pang aktibidad. And, okay. second place po ay si Mark Jan Allen Nizal. Nandito ka na yata, MJ? Yes po. Ayan. And um, anong grade level mo na? Second year college po ako sa Asian Institute of Technology and Education po. Ayan. So thank you so much MJ sa uh, uh, yung, sa yung uh, pag, uh, pagsali sa ating learning at home selfie contest. Congratulations. Parang And first place, we have Maria Cristina Lim. Nandito ka na ba, Miss Maria Cristina? Ayan, wala po siya. So, ang mabibigyan po sa ngayon ng kanilang uh, awards ay sina... Um, ay, yes. Okay, sina... Uh, third place and second place, Miss Amor Baguio at saka si... MJ. Ayan, Ma'am Linder. So again, thank you po Ma'am Amor. Si Ma'am Amor po ay isa sa mga ba, ano, parang talagang ano siya, follower namin. Magpo-post pa lang kami, naka-like na si Ma'am. Ayan. So again, in behalf of DOST STI, I would like Ma'am to, uh, to present the certificate of recognition to Ms. Amor L. Baguio for winning the third place in the Learning at Home Selfie Contest during the celebration of the 31st LIS Month celebration with the team Libraries Building Roads given this 10th day of November 2021 signed by our director, Director Richard P. Burgos. Again, congratulations po, Mama Moore. We would also like to present the Certificate of Recognition to Mark Jan Allen C. Nisal for winning the second place in the Learning at Home Selfie Contest during the celebration of the 31st LIS Month celebration with the team Libraries Building Roads given this 10th day of November 2021 signed by our Director, Director Richard P. Burgos. Again, congratulations sa iyo, MJ. And sana makasali uli kayo sa mga future activities namin. Um. Ayan, congrats once again, MJ. At syempre, dahil panahon ngayon ng teknolohiya, ang uh, may nanalo din po ng ating uh, pinakamalaking reaction sa social media. At ang nanalo ay sa Learning at Home Selfie Contest, ang nanalo ay si Cassandra Nicole Bautista with 822 reactions. Ayan, nandito ka ba, Miss Cassandra? Ayan, wala siya. Okay. Ay, nandito daw. Ayan. Can you open your cam and your mic? Yes. 
yung ating pong learning at home selfie contest, ang uh, gusto lang po namin dito ay mag-selfie kayo habang pinapanood ang aming mga webinars o kaya uh, DST Online Library Literacy Program. Ayan. Hi, Miss Nicole. Hello po. Thank you po. Ayan. Anong grade level mo na? Grade 12 po from Lyceum, Alabang. Ayan. So, thank you so much, Nicole, for joining our contest. And congratulations. Ang susunod naman po ay ang mga nanalo sa... Ah, sorry. <laughs> okay. Uh, I-award po muna natin yung certificate ni Miss Nicole. So, once again, Ma'am Linder. Yan. Congratulations, Nicole. Nicole, tanong ko lang. Naging ano ka ba namin? Participant ka namin sa online library literacy program? Opo. Umatin po ako ng isang beses. Okay. Yun. Kaya pamilyar. Alam ko nag-request ang live. See mo palabang. So with that, we would like to award the certificate of recognition to Cassandra Nicole G. Bautista for winning the most number of reaction 822 and dami nun in the Learning at Home Selfie Contest held during the celebration of the 31st Library and Information Services Month with the team Libraries Building Roads given this 10th day of November 2021, signed by our Director, Director Richard B. Burgos. Again, congratulations sa'yo, Nicole. Thank you, Po. Yeah, thank you, Ma'am Linder. And next po ang ating mga winners under the Book Face Photography Contest. Third place, we have Jason S. Senyo. Ayan, nandito ka ba, Jason? Ayan, wala siya. And ang second place po natin ay Aser ah, Nyo. So, nandito siya. Okay. Winner 7 sees uh, Jason. Ayan, Jason, can you open your cam? And, ah, wala siyang camera. No audio and video. But anyway, thank you so much for joining us. Ayan. Ang ating second place ay si Zandro A. Requiso. At tingnan nyo naman. Technology for Teaching and Learning. Ayan. Nandito ka ba, Zandro? Ayan, mukhang wala si Zandro. Anyway, congratulations. And the first place we have... Jovi G. Bendulo. Hi, Jovi. Nandito ka ba? Ayan. At uh, sa ating mga participants po ng webinar, uh, pwede, pwede po ninyong makita mamaya sa Facebook Live po ang evaluation link. Uh, katulad po ng pinag-usapan natin, ibibigay po namin ang link bago po tayo mag-end ngayong hapon. Ayan. Nandito na po si Jovi. Ayan. Nakamute ka, Miss Jovi. Thank you po. Ayan. Kumusta ka naman? Okay lang po. Ayan. Thank, you. Ayan. thank you po, thank you. Mukhang happy happy din yung inyong mga kasama dyan. So once again, <laughs> congratulations. Okay, and ang nanalo, nanalo ng ating special award for most number of reactions, we have Miss Maricel Gebilagin. Ayan, with 626 reactions. Nandito ka ba, Miss Maricel? Yes po. Good afternoon. Ayan. Hi. Thank you so much for joining us today. And Thank you to din give po. the awards of our winners, andito pong muli si Ms. Linder. Yeah. 
So congratulations sa mga nanalo sa ating Book Face Photography Contest. So we would like to award the Certificate of Recognition to Jason S. Cernio for winning the third place in the Book Face Photography Contest. During the celebration of the 31st Library and Information Services Month with the Team LI, uh, Library Building Roads given this 10th of November 2021, signed by our Director, Director Richard T. Burgos. Again, congratulations sa'yo, Jason. Next, we would like to award the Certificate of uh, Recognition to Joby G. Bendulo for winning the first place in the Book Face Photography Contest during the celebration of the 31st LIS Month celebration given this 20, uh, 10th day of November 2021, signed by our director, Director Richard P. Burgos. Again, congratulations sa'yo, Joby. Thank you. Thank you po. Joby, may tanong ako sa'yo. Yes po. Can you open your cam? <laughs> <laughs> Oo, para makita ka sa Facebook Live. Ayan. Ang tanong ko lang sa'yo, Joby, sino yung kasama mo dun sa picture? Dalawa kayo eh. Sino yung kasama mo dun? Yung kasama mo sa bookface. Yung kasama ko sa bookface po, yung colleague ko po dito, yung staff din po sa library. Ah, so library librarian ka. Library, ah, library clerk, clerk ka, Miss Joby. Yes, Ayan. Ang galing kasi ng pagkakachempo nung ano eh. Sakto-sakto yung paa. Ayan, thank kaya, you. Thank kaya talaga first place. Ayan. So okay, again, congratulations, Joby. Thank you po. Next, we would like to award the Certificate of Recognition to Maricel L. Gabilakin for winning the most number of reactions in the book face photography contest during the celebration of the 31st LIS month celebration given this 10th day of November 2021, signed by our director, Director Richard P. Burgos. Ma'am, congratulations po. Miss Maricel, tanong lang, sino po, yung you, bata, sino po yung bata na kasama nyo dyan sa picture? Ayan, sino po iyan? Saan <laughs> anak po? Po. Opo. Ah, anak anak po. po. Ayan, sakto-sakto din po. May nag-suggest po sa amin, sana daw po may kasama siyang bata pa na isa. <laughs> <laughs> Baby pa po kasi yung uh, brother niya, ah, okay, two years po. old. So with that, with that ma'am, special award, 626 reactions, <laughs> ang dami. Again, congratulations po. po. Ayan, once again, congrats po sa ating mga winners. Thank you, Miss Linder. And, ayan, finally. The winners of our Easy Writing Contest on What Do You Love About DOST STI Library, we have for third place. Entry number 13, Brent O. Gamueda. Uh, Brent, nandito ka ba? Ayan, I think wala si Brent. Ang ating second place I see, JC B. Maya at ang sabi niya what I admire about uh, what I admire the most about the DOST library is its commitment to help the people to easily access information. It is notable that the DOST STI library has the av ability to develop competent, knowledgeable and literate readers. Ayan muli. Uh, congratulations JC. JC nandito ka ba? Ayun, wala din. And finally, first place from Catherine A. Dinosta. Nandito ka ba, Miss Catherine? Ayan, mukhang wala din. Ah, winner. Pa. Ayan. Hi, Catherine. Uh, sorry, lumapit pa ako. Hindi ko kasi masyadong makita. Ayan, so thank you so much for joining us this afternoon and thank you for your entry. Oh my God! Ayan, and finally, special award na meron siyang 1.2 thousand reactions, uh, 1.2 reactions from Catherine A. Denosta. Siya din ang first place natin at siya din ang makakakuha ng Special Award. And to award the certificate, we have here once again, Miss Linder.
Congratulations, Catherine. Hakot award ko. Ah. Ikaw na yung first place. Ikaw pang special award. Di ba? 1.2 reactions. So with that, we would like to award the Certificate of Recognition to Catherine A. Denosta for winning the first place in the essay writing contest, What Do You Love About DOSC SAA Library? During the celebration of the 31st Library and Information Services Month, given this 10th day of November 2021, signed by our director, Director Richard P. Burgos. Again, we would also like to present or award this recognition to Catherine A. Denosa for winning the most number of reaction in the essay writing contest, What Do You Love About the OST SAI Library? Again, congratulations sa'yo, Catherine. Ayan. Thank you so much, Ms. Linder. And thank you so much, Ms. Linder. And finally, ito na po. Ito na po ang mangyayari sa ating National Science and Technology Week on November 22 to 28. At iniimbitahan po namin ang lahat ng participants ngayon Kasama po ang mga uh, nanonood sa atin sa Facebook Live. Ayan, hello. Salamat at nandyan pa din kayo. Ayan, iniimbitahan po namin kayo na sumali sa mga gaganapin sa National Science and Technology Week. Ayan. On Monday, that is November 22, magkakaroon po tayo ng NSTW opening ceremonies and press conference from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. And from 1 p.m. to 2 p.m., magkakaroon po tayo ng uh, KUHA, a social sensing network application. This is Explore the Cohescape. This will be done by the DOST Advanced Science and Technology Institute or ASTI. And from 3 to 5 p.m., ito naman po ang ganap. Creating Hope with Matt Dev, Coaching and Mentoring Workshop on Design and Production of Medical Equipment Parts. And this will be conducted by the DOST, Industrial Technology Development Institute or ITDI. Next, on November 23, Tuesday po, ayan, from 8 a.m. to 10 a.m., magkakaroon po tayo ng 2021 Muntin Lupa Virtual DRRM Robotic Competition. And this will be conducted by DOST National Capital Region. From 10 a.m. to 12 p.m., magkakaroon po tayo ng SFTP book launching. And this will be under the Office of the Undersecretary for R&D. Next, from 12 to 1 p.m., Magkakaroon po tayo ng webinar and this is entitled Made in MMIC, a webinar on product prototype development. This will be undertaken by the DOST Industrial Technology and Development Institute or DOST ITDI. And from 1 o'clock to 5 o'clock p.m., magkakaroon po ng setup praise awarding ceremony. This will be conducted by DOST Regional Office Number 8. On November 24, that will be Wednesday, magkakaroon po tayo uh, by 8 to 10 a.m. ng webinar on 5G and communicative technologies under the Office of the Assistant Secretary for International Cooperation. From 10 a.m. to 11 a.m., uh, ito naman po ang mangyayari, peak RYP. PIC, click RYPIC, Shaping Yard Innovations in the Regions to Warp Speed NTF to the Digital Marketplace. And from 11 a.m. to 12 p.m., ito naman po, Worth More Than Gold, Shargao's Biodiversity. This is uh, under the National Research Council of the Philippines. And then we have uh, from 12 p.m. to 2 p.m. magkakaroon po ng turnover of the Universal Structural Health Evaluation and Recording or the USHER. 
And Sir Moniel Mo was signing for the Smart City Project in Santa Rosa, Laguna. This will be undertaken by BUSD Regional Office Number 4A. Ayan. And then, by 2 p.m. to 3 p.m., magkakaroon po ng RSPW Celebration of SUCs in Region 2. From 3.30 to 5 p.m., ayan, magkakaroon po tayo ng Nutriflex Trivia. And this will be under the DOST Food and Nutrition Research Institute or FNRI. On Thursday, that is November 25, uh, from 8 a.m. to 10 a.m., we will be having the launching of Tapis Display and Exhibit Center. And this, this will be under, of course, the DOST TAPI or Technology Application and Promotion Institute. From 10.30 to 11.30, we will have this one, FIVOX Talk Series, Searching for the Big one, Understanding Earthquake Scenarios in the Philippines. Of course, this is under the DOST FIVOX. And from 11.30 to 1 p.m., magkakaroon po tayo ng Science Communication Webinar featuring Pinoy Science TikTok. And this will be undertaken by the DOST Caraga Region. And by Thursday, November 25, from 1 p.m. to 2 p.m., uh, magkakaroon po tayo ng discussion on repurposing natural resources for COVID-19 under the DOST Philippine Council for Health Research and Development. By 2 p.m. to 3 p.m., magkakaroon din po ng uh, discussion on hybrid electric road train set to boast local metals industry in Ilagan City. And this will be under the Metals Industry Research and Development Center or the DOST MIRDC. And from 3 p.m. to 4 p.m., ayan, ito po isa din sa exciting para sa mga bata, Meet Your Scientists and PSHC Virtual Tour. This is a treasure hunt. So, magkakaroon tayo ng treasure hunt. This will be under the National Academy of Science and Technology. By 4 p.m. to 5 p.m., ayan, magkakaroon po tayo ng launching. So, Bamboo Musical Instruments website launching. Oh, this is soft launching. And launching of the handbook on, Philipp uh, on physical and mechanical properties of three plantation species. This will be under the DOST Forest Products Research and Development Institute. And by Friday, ayan, from 8 a.m. to 10 a.m., magkakaroon po tayo ng discussion on nuclear applications in health and medicine. Ito po yung sinasabi ni Ms. Michelle po kanina and invited po tayong lahat. 10 a.m. to 12 p.m., magkakaroon po tayo ng Big Mo sa Ifugao. Launching of the Complementary Food Processing Facility in Ifugao. And this is under the Cordillera Administrative Region and Ifugao State University. From 12 p.m. to 2 p.m., uh, we will be having the Enhancing Regional Innovation Ecosystem, Learning from Orobest and Illiganized Innovation Programs. This is under DOST Regional Office Number 10. And uh, from 2 to 5 p.m., ayan, we, have, we will have the reimagining the future of R&D with next-gen researchers. This is a roundtable discussion. And this will be facilitated by the Philippine Council for Industry, Energy, and Emerging Technology Research and Development, or PSHIR. By November 27, Ayan, 9 to 12 p.m., magkakaroon po tayo ng Best Ses Community. And uh, this will be uh, under the DST Regional Office Number 8. By 12 p.m. to 2 p.m. naman, magkakaroon ng SciMath Battle 2021. At ito po ay inihahandog ng Philippine Science High, High School System or PSHS. 
and from 2 to 5 p.m. Ayan. Magkakaroon po tayo ng PGS at 115. Keeping Socially Relevant Research in Style. So, alam niyo po ba ang PG, PGS or Philippine Journal of Science is the longest, um, longest, oldest uh, scientific journal in the Philippines. So, 115 means 115 years na po siya. And this is under the Science and Technology Information Institute. By November 28, this will be Sunday. Ayan, ito po yung mga mangyayari from 9 to 11 a.m. Yamang galing sa kapaligiran, dangal ng pamayanan. This is a technophora. So, ang pag-uusapan po dito, katutubong gulay na sariling atin dapat pagyamanin. Pangangalaga sa lawa, ang pagsigip sa tawilis at pagtuklas sa natatanging akwatikong hayop sa Lake Cebu. And, pangatlo, bagong tuklas na saribuhay sa kabundukan, hiyas at yamang handog ng kalikasan. Okay, so yun po ang magaganap sa National Science and Technology Week. At bago po tayo pumunta sa closing remarks, magkakaroon po muna tayo ng photo opportunity kasama ang ating mga winners at lahat po ng nasa panelists. Once again, this three-day webinar is in partnership with the Philippine Librarians Association, Incorporated. Irene, singit ko lang. May pinapa, ano si Miss Jell. DOST Secretary for... You can watch po sa DOST TV Facebook page. Assure na rin po. Thank you. Ayan. Okay. So, tech team, bahala na po ulit kayo. Ayan, so inaayos lang po ng ating tech team yung screen. Para makasama po natin lahat ng winners. Ayan, maraming maraming salamat po, Tech Team. Maraming maraming salamat po sa ating mga winners. At once again, congratulations. Maraming maraming salamat po sa ating mga resource speakers din at sa lahat ng ating mga participants. And to finally close this three-day webinar, of the DOST STII, Mr. Alan C. Taule. Good afternoon, sir. Magandang hapon, Irene. Magandang hapon po sa lahat. At uh, kanina nung binabasa ni Irene yung lineup for our uh, NSTW 21, 2021 schedule, napansin ko po na mukhang mahirap po talaga ang maging scientist. Kasi po, ang pangalan pa lang ng mga agencies natin, masakit na. Kasi we have FN Aray. Tapos we have PN Aray. Yung speaker po natin kanina si Miss Michelle, taga PN Aray. So ito po, pinapakita lang po namin na uh, kaming mga nasa servisyo ng DOS ay talagang bunga na ito ng aming pagmamahal sa pagpapalaganap ng agham at teknolohiya. Kumbaga, we love even if it hurts, sabi nga niya. <laughs> Pero uh, kidding aside, uh, maraming 
marami tayong natutunan ano na sa itong mga huling tatlong araw. Kaya alam niyo po, magandang hapon sa inyong lahat at sa ngalan po ng aking mga kasamahan dito sa DOST STII. Ako po ito os pusong nagpapasalamat sa lahat na nakibahagi sa ating tatlong araw na selebrasyon ng ikatatlumput isang Library and Information Service Month sa taong 2021. Nais nice ko pong magpasalamat sa lahat ng nagpagod at nagsunog ng kilay para maidaos natin ang LIS Month Celebration. Unang-una, nais nice ko pong batiin ang mga mubuo ng Philippine Librarians Association Incorporated sa pangunguna ni sa pangunguna ng presidente ng PLAI, si Dr. Emma Ray, kabilang ang kanyang uh, executive vice president na si Ms. Elisa Garcia, pati mga vice presidents for Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao, at iba pang opisyal nito. Maraming salamat po sa inyo. Ibig ko rin pong magpasalamat sa lahat ng ating naging resource speakers sa, na nagkaloob na sa atin ng makabagong kaalaman sa loob ng tatlong araw. Nais ko pong magpasalamat sa mga sumusunod na resource speakers. Ito naman for day one, yung unang-unang araw. I'd like to cite Mr. Michael Pinto for his presentation on public library advocacies. Mr. Loren Kipaan for his uh, presentation on academic library advocacies. Ms. Sara Gagatiga for her presentation on school library advocacies. And Ms. Nelia Balagapo, also treasurer of uh, PLY, for her presentation on special library advocacies. Maraming salamat po sa inyong mga adikaing pinamara sa amin. Atin din pong pasasalamatan ang mga resource speakers for the day two morning session. I'd like to cite Mr. Simon Philip Sacramento for his presentation on clinical librarianship, information services, and how it assists healthcare, and Mr. Gino Cabrera for his presentation on caring for librarians, mental health, wellness, and self-care amidst the COVID-19 pandemic. Ito naman po ang resource speakers for day two after afternoon session. I think we only have one. At ito po si Ms. Maria Pesingson for her presentation on Gender Sensitivity and GAD Perspective, an Introduction for Librarians. Marami pong salamat sa inyong pagbabahagi ng inyong kaalaman. Nais nice ko rin pong magbigay po guys sa mga kasamahan ko sa DOST STII na nagsilbing resource speakers for day three morning session. Ang ating walang kapagod-pagod na si Ms. Linderlit Maglake for her presentation on DOST STII services and resources. Ms. Maribic Narkita for her presentation on Starbucks. And Mr. Jonathan Abalon for his presentation on DOST InfoServilis. Marami pong salamat sa aking mga kasamahan sa Science and Technology. Information Institute. Nais nice ko rin pong pasalamatan ang mga resource speakers sa hapong ito na sina Ms. Michelle Arispe for her presentation on Nuclear Information for All, Research Support at PNRI, at siyempre ang bonggang-bonggang Ms. Jel Miranda for her presentation on DOS TV, Science for the People. Maraming salamat po sa ating mga naging resource speakers sa last day natin. Pero bukod dyan, nais nice ko rin pong kunin ang pagkakataong ito 
upang parangalan ang mga nagwagi at pati yung mga sumali sa ating mga patimpalak na kasama natin ng LIS Month. Ito yung mga nakilahok at nanalo sa ating essay writing contest, learning at home selfie contest, fan art contest, and book face photography contest. Congratulations po sa inyong lahat. Mabuhay kayo. Ang aking lubos na pasasalamat sa lahat ng tumulong mula sa Ply, sa DOSD SCII, DOSD PNRI, at mga kumakatawan sa iba't ibang libraries at information centers. Hindi po namin malilimutan ang tulong at suportang inyong ipinamalas na nagbunga sa matagumpay na pagdaraos natin ng LIS Month for 2021. Naway manatili kayong ligtas at malakas sa mga susunod na araw, buwan at taon para sa inyong pamilya at para sa inyong profesyon. Ako po si Alan Taule ng DOST SCII hanggang sa susunod na LIS Month Celebration. Maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat. Mabuhay kayo. Ayan. So maraming 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 salamat po Sir Alan for those uh, for that uh, closing remarks. Ayan. At nababasa din po namin ang pasasalamat ninyo, aming mga participants sa Facebook at sa Zoom. Thank you so much. And finally, ang pinakahihintay din po ng lahat. Um, nabanggit po pala, uh, binanggit po namin since day one hanggang ngayon, this uh, three-day uh, webinar is in partnership with the Philippine Librarians Association Incorporated. And since nandito po ang ating butihing uh, president, ayan, in behalf of Fly, would you like to say something, Ma'am Emma? Ayan. Tapos na yung ano, closing remarks ni Sir. Uh, maraming maraming salamat. Uh, tulad nung nasabi ko nung una, no, isang karangalan na maging partner ang ano, ang DOST STII sa ganitong mga celebration, no, LISM. Before kasi mga mga nakaka-partner namin, yung mga may ano related sa book industry, related sa arts, gano'n. no. It's the first time na scientific community naman yung kasama namin. So, tulad nung nasabi ko, no, siguro matutuwa yung amin yang kauna-unahang presidente na si ano no, si Trinidad Pardo de Tabera na isang scientist, di ba? Yun ang unang presidente ng Ply sa kaalaman ng lahat. So, anyway, Uh, looking forward sa mga future partnerships sa atin kahit na LIS hindi pang LISM no uh, basta may maitutulong ang fly no uh, handa naman kami na makipag uh, ugnayan sa inyo tumulong basta kontakin niyo lang kami Ayan. thank you so much ma'am Emma okay So, ngayon naman po, narito na ang pinakahihintay ng lahat, ang evaluation link. <laughs> okay, sa mga hindi po nakapag-accomplish ng attendance form kanina po, uh, pwede pa po kayong humabol. Ayan, narito po, naka-flash po sa ating screen ang attendance link. Kasama po dito ang evaluation link. Ayan, sa ating mga nasa Facebook uh, live, makikita nyo po or mababasa nyo po sa ating comment, comment box ang attendance link and evaluation link for the 4 day 3. At sa mga nasa Zoom po, narito po sa Zoom uh, chat box yung ating evaluation link. Yan. So, tuloy, maraming 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 salamat for staying with us for this uh, three-day webinar series. Sana po, hindi po namin nasayang ang tatlong araw po ninyo. Yan. At um, nawa, 
lahat po ng ating mga natutunan ay uh, makatulong po para mapabuti pa po at uh, we will be able to grow more personally and professionally. And katulad po ng mga uh, nasabi ng ating uh, mga participants uh, kahapon, sana po ay marikindel, mariignite yung passion natin ulit to serve and to provide services selflessly. And as we provide our uh, service selflessly, we must not also forget to love ourselves because our well-being is important in order for us to provide good and better service. So once again, for everyone, thank you so much for joining us in this three-day webinar. Thank you so much, uh, Philippine Librarians Association Incorporated for partnering with us. Thank you so much to our sign language interpreters. Ayan, maraming maraming salamat po. Inuulit ko lang po yung pasasalamat namin. Ayan, at sana po uh, sa mga uuwi or sa lahat po sa atin, uh, keep doing, let's keep doing our best and live a life of Purpose. Ayan. So, ingat po sa inyong lahat. Ako pong muli ang inyong moderator ng tatlong araw, Irene Alice Brillo, nagsasabing magandang araw, uh, stay safe, stay healthy, and God bless everyone.